C10 Talk, episode 181, Builder Series. Me, stuck at home, quarantined. A little Q&A with you, the audience, the C10 Nation. Good times ahead. Here we go. Damn, son. Let me tell you what Melvin Post is packing right here. I've right, got 411 Posi track out back, 750 double pumper, Edelbrock intake, scored over 30, 11 to 1 pop up pistons, turbo jet, 390 horsepower. We're talking some bucking muscle. What does that do? Does that blow your mind? That just happened. Welcome to C10 Talk, your C10 truck podcast. And now I have a chance to be the best, maybe the best in the world. My old man, he's a television repairman. I've got this ultimate set of tools. I can fix it. I said I got 50 cents in that dude box, and all I can hear is your mouth flapping. You hear that? Here's your host, Ronnie Wetch. All right, all right, guys. What's up? What's up? 181, a little builder series with uh, me, myself, and I. And uh, had a little quarantine action. Thought uh, I would sit down and uh, continue the Builders series. So the Friday night interviews, Q&A live on Instagram and YouTube. This Friday is going to be Todd from Low Boy. Now, Todd is known primarily for his 8-lug conversion, 8-lug love. He does a lot of dually stuff. He does some big rig stuff. He cuts some wheels, some 22s, some Alcoas, some semis. And he's got a lot going on and made a name for himself doing that. But he does about everything, really, at his shop. If you check out his Instagram, Low Boy Motorsports, you name it, he's got it. I'll be over there Friday, which when this drops, I think it is tomorrow. <laughs> I'm thinking what time it is right now. And it's Thursday night, so it will be Friday. So it'll be tonight. So if you're listening to... Uh, this episode in the morning then you'll hear it tonight but i know bear with me it's late so uh friday builder series continuing along six o'clock six o'clock az time this friday it's going to be todd from low boy next friday is going to be sammy c sam castronova we've got that one scheduled so that will be on the 29th uh let's see here just dropped george trosley episode 180 and if you're like who Who's George Trosley? He's a guy who does the rad cartoons in the back of Street Trucks magazine. He also, uh, I didn't really realize this, but I believe he did some cartoons for Hustler, Carcraft, and then I did know he did uh, cartoons. So growing up as a kid, I would see that magazine all the time, Cartoons. George Trosley, the guy behind some of the funny, funny truck cartoons that we see in the back of Street Trucks. So we've got the Builder Series kicking butt. We've got uh, guests scheduled. We've got George Trosley p- playing behind me here at 180. Now, on Tuesday, I've already recorded the next episode. That's going to be Rob Fortier. So who is Rob Fortier? Rob is a print media guy, and he comes from a, a long line of, he was at Classic Trucks. He was at, I think he said, Street Rotter. And he's got a history, and him and a few of the guys have started a new magazine, Classic Truck Performance. It's a print magazine. It's also going to be digital. Interviewed him about the brand new magazine coming the your way, my way, our way, June. June of 2020 is what he's thinking. So I did subscribe. I'm looking forward to it. Jump on and listen to that one on Tuesday. That'll be out and it'll drop. And uh, you can find out what's going on with Rob and his crew and the classic truck performance. Now, they've got another one. It's something rotter. I don't want to mess it up. I think it's rot- modern rotting is, I think, what it is. So not rotting, but rotting. So modern rotting. And they're going to be doing two magazines, print magazines. So uh, even though we think print is dead and or dying, these guys are going to put it on some life support and bring it back. So good stuff coming your way. Thanks for tuning in. I did just drop a little IG thing quickly on how to leave a rate and a review. Please check that out on IG. Uh, Really, if you've got an iPhone, it's super easy. Go into your podcast, hit C10 Talk, scroll to the bottom, bam, it says write a review. You can uh, leave us a few stars, hopefully five, and uh, type up a review and let us know how we're doing. 
All right, guys, Builder Series around the corner. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Remember to support those that support you. Support our sponsors. Thanks, guys. Do what you do. Have a good weekend. And tune in tonight, if you're listening to this Friday, for Low Boy Builder Series. Here we go. Late. Hey, guys. For the Builder Series pod, the first part is the shop tour. So for the C10 Talk compound i did walk around we did check out the shop beneath me the studio upstairs and a few of the different trucks that are here so if you want to check that out that's on youtube i cut that off of the interview and we're going to get right into the q a so youtube c10 talk head that way subscribe you can watch the complete interview if you want that way and kind of see some of the interaction and stuff but uh if you're digging it and you're on the pod cool just gonna let you know if you want to watch that first part of that video you can over on the youtube all right guys thanks and let's see if we got for questions so let me turn this around she uh she had that on give me a second here digging the shop tour man loving all the new content and changing it up just got my hat in the mail thanks daniel okay guys i'm gonna that's a great space thanks for the tour you got it moffitt brothers I spotted a C10 Club Maryland sticker. Oh, yeah, you got that right. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Mm. Okay, I'm just adjusting the camera for the IGers. And the YouTube guys are like, my face is right in there, in their face. So, okay, so that's our shop tour. That's what we do over here. Uh, you kind of get, boy, that, that, that roof is popcorn-y, or that ceiling, I should say. But uh, let's see what we got here. Um... Okay, slice is nice. What's up? What's up, Robbie V? Robbie V's been here. He knows what's up. Good dude. Check out his YouTube. I know he's working hard on that. And then uh, IG. Let's uh, let's see what you got here. Uh, run US Mags Chrome C10 on your 72 Blazer. Ooh. I uh, that's a 77, and I think I already know what wheels I want to put on there. So for YouTube, I'm just gonna scroll back a little bit. Sometimes. There's a uh, Oro. They, uh, we are currently in the Oro apartment. Uh, I need a 75 grill, please. A 75 GMC or a 75 uh, Chevrolet? Um, oh, uh, I don't know what 75 you have. Is your Grecian bronze truck a 75, John? I didn't think that it was. Goody good box. Did you sell your Cummins? I did sell my Cummins. My Cummins was still out there, but it is sold. It's, uh, it's being stored here. So he, uh, Nate Werner bought it and he got everything. He just hasn't picked up the big motor itself. So it was out, it was actually sitting out there probably. Um, but yeah, the Cummins is gone and the, really the come the frame is still out there. It's sold. The truck sold and left for free to lay the 71 tow truck and the Cummins is gone. So kind of a sad deal. I, I really, um, I really wish I, I could have got that truck going, but I just, uh, I think what happened was Orange Slice filled that void, and I was kind of over it. So next up is going to be the 77 K5 Blazer, and that's uh, Appaloosa. So that's that's next. There's some fun stuff going to happen with that truck, though. So let me uh, – time to crank her up, the diesel, chickens good people, LBZ. Okay, I was just kind of going through what's up, Chevy Only Krista. She's working hard on getting the get-down stuff going. I talked to her today, getting ready. Okay, all right. Way way to multitask, yeah. We're we're multitasking. Okay, do, 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 do. I thought that was a real dude. Yeah, Johnny. All right, I don't know if I missed anything on um in on Instagram. So if you guys got any questions, just let me know. Julie Brown getting no love. She's not man. Uh, OBS Trends. Check you guys check him out. Is your K5 Blazer a two wheel drive? That one is a four wheel drive. But I don't think it's going to stay four-wheel drive. So uh, great question, 90s truck scene. That truck, what up, Shampy? That truck or that Blazer, I believe, will be converted. That's my plan. My plan is to convert that Blazer to two-wheel drive. I like the brown and the yellow and the and the uh, the brown and the, the white with the yellow trim on the 77. I think uh, that Blazer with that color will look uh, absolutely phenomenal uh, two-wheel drive. So... What up, Wonky? How you been, brother? Hope everything's uh, good in uh, in Florida, and uh, you're taking care of Solomon. So uh, for the YouTubers, Wonky built. Johnny Oral saying loud and clear, and Robbie V saying he needs to come back over. There's always a beer here for you, Robbie, anytime. 
Uriel, you're back. About to try and get an 85 GMC Dually 454 started. Fuel issues hopefully can take care of it. Well, those fuel issues are there's a dime a dozen on those big blocks, but hopefully uh, it's uh, it's a vapor it's a vapor issue with the big block. Hopefully, you have a return on that uh, fuel pump. And the number one thing I've figured out, and this is another thing I need to do another video on, is if you can bypass one of those fuel switches and just run solo off a tank, you'll find out real quick if your truck's going to run. And if it's sometimes it's the fuel switch. So. Gots to keep the 77 two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Well, it is it is a four-wheel drive RT, RDT, but I believe it's going to become a two-wheel drive. I think it's going to look pretty sweet on the ground. So uh, I just think that brown and white, I, I think it, it'll look better on the ground. Not on the ground, but lower. lower um, coil over is, is my plan. So just bouncing back and forth. YouTube, you're doing good. Uh, wonky, let's see. What about the trans did you have in Yellowstone? So low 82 C10. So we had the Turbo 400. I still have that transmission. That transmission was bomb-proof. That transmission went to Texas twice, uh, went to Cali once or twice, and went to Vegas. And then I put the 480 in. The problem with the 480 is you got to have a, a tranny um, module to talk to the 480. So it, it can get pricey. So just be careful if you decide to go with a 480. Unless you can find some, I think there's ancient 480s that the first few, year, first few years that were mechanical and not computerized uh all good down here bro thanks for asking i see all good over there well i'm all good here but like i said i'm kind of quarantining myself from from doing different things with uh builders guy builder guys right now just because i want to make sure i'm good this week 77 trim my bad typo gots to have that yellow trim oh man yellow fever all day long uh rdt i love that uh yeah, that yellow trim on a 77 do you think you'll ever paint the bed scars on orange slice? That is a great question. And that uh, S-C-H-A-R-R-R-O-N, Chiron 203, just got you uh, our number one giveaway. So let me write this down. You got to DM me, though. That's your job. Or email Ronnie at C10 Talk. Ronnie, R-O-N-N-N-I-E. I, how many ends I said, but it should be two. And uh, you just got yourself the first thing. So I'm going to put it S-C-H-A-R-R-O-N. Uh, two, where'd you go? Okay. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Two, zero, two, zero, zero, three. Um, bed, scars, orange slice. Uh, the answer is no. So I did talk to Sam, uh, about that one time in great length. And Sam's like, man, you should, you should paint those and cover them up. I just think because it's, it, it's the character of who it is. It orange slice and and the the scars make the slice. When the truck was a long bed, it was sun kissed, and then it became orange slice. And I don't know. I I I I'm tempted, but because of the the decal, the decal that was for stickle, because of the the decal, I don't know how you how you fix that in the back. You could do the front, you could do the high and the low, but the decal would be be tough. And once you start. It, it'd be tough to kind of fix. So I, I like the character of it. I like that my boy Kyle did that and then it became orange slice. So I'm not going to hide its scars. I'm not going to hide, hide its injuries. YouTube pipe up. Let's see what you guys got. Let's see. Larry Smith. Does anyone know if an LS motor AC stock location fits in an 85 C10? I think it does. I think on the diesels is where it gets, you get in trouble like a 12 valve because it's so low on a 12 valve that it hits the frame. So sometimes you have to notch out the frame. But I think on a LS, I, I don't think they have to do anything. Can do a manual valve body on a 4L80, but it will just have to shift on the column. That's a, well, that's okay to be shift on the column, if that's what you're saying, versus shift on the floor if you put an overdrive on the floor. So our RDT's helping you out there, low 82. But that's, look into that more. That's the biggest thing about running a 4L80. It's, I loved it. I loved having that extra gear. But you, you get into cost because you got to kind of go to the computerized stuff. So Empire Fabrication, what's up, buddy? Hope you're doing good. Uh, I see that other bourbon. You're working your butt off, man. So you guys give Empire Fabrication a, a follow if you haven't already. You guys got big plans for SEMA 2020 and everything else he's got going on. Unfortunately, AccuWare went out of business, and I think he was going to do a lot with them. So hopefully uh, he keeps cranking on that bourbon. That thing was awesome. Let's see what else. When is Ronnie getting an OBS? Well, that is my OBS. That 88 is my OBS. I just lent it to my son 
for um, because his truck wasn't done. And what happened was the motor just the motor doesn't run when it doesn't have oil in it. So I got you know I would always tell him you got to put oil, you got to put oil, you got to put oil. And one day he calls me, he's like, uh, "There's no oil." I mean, he said the motor's acting up. So I went over to where he was, and I'm like, "There's no, there's no oil." So uh, that motor took a shit essentially. And uh, from there on out, you know, now we just need to put the motor back in. But no, downtown Julie Brown is my truck, 1988. I love the color. Uh, yeah, I love the color. It's 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 nothing that special. It's there's you know it's got some character. It's an older truck, but I love the I love the paint. I bought it for the paint really. Uh, let's see here. When is Ronnie? No orange slice needs the, well, it got this. It, yeah. Oh yeah. It needs the scars. Keep the slice in the orange. Yes. New England, uh, C10 New England for sure. Okay. Start. Sometimes when this happens, these comments get a little bit too far. So let me check in. What build would you like to do over and what would you do different? So for Instagram, this was, uh, that's a great question, John, but you already get all the free shirts. So, um, Golly, sometimes Instagram, what happens, I'm trying to move these uh, these comments down below. So John Oro just asked what build – what? well, I would love to have Picacho back, which um, this is a sweet truck. This is, this is pre-IG. Pre so people don't really, you know, know how – uh, well, you're like, oh, pre-IG. So this this truck, I don't know. I know where this is. I could probably buy it back if I really, really worked the guy. But I don't know. I had a lot of fun with that truck. But uh, that truck would be fun. Um, maybe enjoy it a little bit longer. But I know what I would do different is with Yellowstone, I would have left it uh, with the 400 and the carburetor. And I wish I would have done the 4L80 and the Terminator on Orange Slice. So I did the 4L80 and the Terminator on Yellowstone and then sold it. I wish I would have just kept it with the 400 and put all that into Orange Slice. So really sold Yellowstone earlier and jumped on Orange Slice earlier. Would have been cool. So good one, John. Uh, all good down here. Okay, so yeah, back to IG. I'm getting caught back up. Does anyone know? Okay. House pace and snowball. It's not coming along very fast. It's just hard with him and his work and different things that he's got going on. So uh, 70ZR10, slow, slow, slow. Um, does a 68C10 6.0 4L80 fit without a modify the cab? Yes, it will fit. The only thing you're going to have to do is make sure you have a high hump. So this is R Garcia 35. You're going to want to make sure you have a high hump, I believe. And that means it's a four-wheel drive hump. So on a two-wheel drive, it's going to be a low hump, and you're going to probably want a high hump to clear that, that tranny. And depending if you go low. If you go low, then you really want to have a, a high hump so you can clear for, for everything else because you're going low. Uh, so let's see here. I need to tell me to get – I need you to tell me to get Dakota Digital HDX gauges so I'll quit debating it. I'll tell you honestly, Chad, uh, my, my thing with those gauges, um, it's not cheap, but they are absolutely amazing. I mean, they really are. I, I, I promise you, I'm, I'm not just saying that I had, I had uh, VHX and Yellowstone. I have HDX, the RTX. So the retro style, what, what style truck do you have, Chad? Uh, if it's 85 or you're born in 85, I'm not sure, but the HDX gauges for everybody listening uh, HDX gauges. They're, they're amazing. HDX and, uh, the, uh, um, retro style as well. So they're, I love them. I love them to death. They just, you've got everything there, get the old school look, and then you've got your digital input. You got more information than you can handle. It's, it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge leap in for mankind. You get the OG style truck, you get all that, but then you get the modification or you get the, the modern, um, gauges and it's, it's, I love it, man. So I, I obviously I'm, I'm a fan. So let me go back down. I hate when it does that. Uh, let me see what you got here. Uh, gauges are just for looks. Payson knows. <laughs> Payson doesn't need no gauges. Uh, that oil pressure. They have a C10 dash that looks better than the Dakota for a C10. Hmm. I don't know what he's saying on that one, but I remember Picacho from the forum days. Yep, that's a, that was a forum build. Yellowstone went to GMG. Oh, it did go to GMG, but then he already sold it. So it's actually in Minnesota. A guy 
uh, I think his name's Sean bought it and he actually knows Richard. So, so that, that didn't last long there. He never really did. He never really did take the truck. So you have an 86 Chad an 86 with RTXs is a no brainer, no brainer. And then look, low 82 C10. He's, uh, he's got him. He's, he loves him. He's got him. This is the best thing I would say. Ask anybody who has Dakota digital gauges, if they like them or not, that's it. I like mine. Okay. Ask anybody else uh, at all. Let me jump over to YouTube real quick. Uh, Robbie is snowball still getting boost. Uh, he, he says it is, but we'll see it. It's all about money. You know that. So Daniel Powell, what's the deal with the quarter panel on the wall and any significant to the fireman hats that we're hanging up? Okay. So Daniel is asking me, what's the quarter panel on the wall and then the fire helmets. So Daniel, to ask your question, I'm a firefighter here locally, and then the quarter panel, which is really just a piece of, that's what's left over from Orange Slice. So right there, that's a piece that was left over from Orange Slice. So that uh, that little piece is uh, the bedside that Kyle cut, Metal Ox, and uh, that's my souvenir. I took that to LST, and I don't want to give it back to him because uh, I want to keep it. That's That's my souvenir. So, uh, cool stuff. Okay. So good questions. I'll put you down for a shirt, Daniel Powell. So I got a, I got a YouTube a winner and I got a IG winner. So Daniel, send me an email, Ronnie at C10 talk. And, uh, I'll, I'll hook you up with some of this, this giveaway stuff that I have. Cause I've got some, uh, I've got some, some giveaway stuff. I, I literally have hats and shirts because we have stuff that's just not perfect and we don't want to sell. So we're going to give away some stuff. Good question. Okay, so let's go over to IG, the new Vision Dash. Have you seen it? I have not. New Envision Dash. Is that like an OBS Dash? I need to look that up. Um, so I need to look that up. Larry Smith is saying new Envision Dash. Five stars for C10 Talk. Thank you, brother. Ronnie got down ever happen. Ronnie's got down ever happen or C10 Talk truck show. Hmm, what is that? You saying like a show for me? No, I'm not having a show. Everybody else can have a show. That's too much damn work. I like to go to the shows. What up, Sick Monty? Dakota Digital for the win. Customer custom RTX altered for diesels. We have sets, uh, two sets for far and low. So yeah, I mean, and that's a cool thing too. Like even Bowman's got. So for the guys that have diesels or want to change things up, they work with you. For example, a diesel doesn't need five, six, seven thousand RPMs. A diesel needs three to four thousand, and there's a few things you're going to change. You probably don't need to go up to 160 either. So RTX and Dakota Digital will work with you on some of that stuff. What about aftermarket wiring harnesses? Do you prefer painless or American? Painless is the way to go, man. Uh, American, I do I do know guys that love American as well. Um, the one thing about American, you're going to have to get the different crimper. Uh, painless is what we're doing on Payson's truck, so I can't wait to do that uh, and, and get that installed on the chassis harness for, for Payson 66 GMC. That's going to get the painless. Building a 79 Bitten and an 89 OBS. Dude, see, you're getting... Uh, uh, so recommendations for some good resources to teach my teenagers how to work on these trucks. I can watch YouTube vids like, um, MF or, but something else, uh, without a doubt, there's nothing else is just get out there and, and take something apart. That's one thing I joke about with Payson is he's very mechanical. He loves to tear stuff apart. Who doesn't love to tear stuff apart? It's putting it back together. So Maybe tear something apart with them. Maybe tear a motor apart. Maybe tear a truck apart. Maybe do a brake job, something like that, and see if if they bite. You know, give them give them a vested thing. So his question was just trying to get his kids more involved with uh, with the builds and uh, and the in the process. Speedway Motors has a really good budget wiring harness. Speedway does have one, and I think that's on online. But I don't think that um, Painless is much better. And the deal with Painless is it's made right in America. So. You know, if you think about everything right now going on, I have a friend of mine who did buy one on like Amazon or something, and he's had some problems with it. And I just told him, you might have to pay a little extra, but um, the painless stuff is made right here in US of A. So, and with everything going on, that's uh, it's a big deal. Now, Robbie might have ran, ran that. Robbie's uh, local here, Robbie B. He worked uh, works for Seth, with Seth, and has his own YouTube channel, Robbie V's Garage. And so he has, uh, well, I think it's 64. 
64, 5, 6, and he, he just did a bunch of work. So I think uh, he might have uh, a Speedway harness. So we'll see if he's had nothing but, you know, but good stuff to say about it. But again, uh, I'll spend a little extra to uh, stay here in America. When you come into the East Coast, brother, minus the COVID, I don't know, man. Let's see what we can do. I love to get out there and uh, maybe get to that that C10 Fall Revival in October. What is it? October 23rd this year out in North Carolina? That'd be a fun one. I'm out, Ronnie. Okay. See you, Wonky. Take care, man. C10 Builders Guides, RTX 100% app connects to your phone and displays all diagnostics. So that's another cool thing you can do with the RTX is you can, or the HDX really, is you can connect your phone. So if you want to be doing some tech, you want to be doing, you know, something where you, you're, uh, you're, you're doing a tune, anything like that, you can look at your gauges right on your phone. That's pretty cool to link up, you know, Wi-Fi to your phone or Bluetooth, I should say. Maryland in the house. Yeah, you got that right. Most of Okay, let's see here. Okay, so Larry's giving me the YouTube link. Checking out YouTube again. Mm, we do 160 my <laughs> You do say 160 my ass. Uh, let's see here. Five stars for C10 Talk and OBS Talk. Stay safe, Ronnie. Thank you guys so much. Vibro. Uh-oh. What up? Freaking Vibro's in the house. Roy Boy, is that you? How you doing, Roy? I hope you're doing good, man. So uh, Vibro Solutions uh, might be tuning in. Larry, the links, but man, the dash is sweet and about 800 bucks. So it must be an incorporated dash with gauges. Um, I'll have to check it out. Thanks, Larry. Great way to spend a Friday night. Cheers. Cheers to everybody who's tuning in. For the IG guys, we're coming up on that hour mark, so I'm going to click off here in a little bit. So let me get caught up on uh, all the questions because they kick us off, and then it'll let everybody else back in. So let me uh, – any welding tests? I'm terrified to burn holes in my sheet metal. I'm not a, I'm not a certified welder, but I got an 18-year-old kid who is. Uh, I just learned and hacked the old style way, uh, and I can do basics, you know, thick stuff. Thin stuff, man. I put a whole, I put plenty of holes uh, in thin stuff, so I'm definitely not uh, I'm not your resource for welding. Mm. Classy Cruise has been the Speedway harness. No problem with it. All right, cool. So there you go. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off real quick on Instagram, and uh, and I'll bring you guys back in. So the way it works too for IG is if I go off, it doesn't it times me out an hour, so it doesn't do that. And then another thing is is it'll tell other people that, uh, you know, that uh, we're out there and that we're live. So I'm going to move this camera a little bit because this, this YouTube thing is close. I got that one so close. I guess I guess with, with one guy and not having the both of us here, I don't have to be so close with all this stuff. Okay? So let me end and then bring you guys all back in here. So end now. C10 Nation. Let me tell you about my buddies Travis, his dad Jack, a.k.a. Dad, and Nick. They run Pro Performance, AZ Pro Performance. They're active in our community. They're C10 guys. They're always working on new stuff, like their new suspension line, React Suspension. They're master dealers for AccuAir, Dakota Digital, Bear, Boyd Welding, Vintage Air, and many more. They're C10 specialists and stock many fast-moving products backed by their stellar customer service. Not only do they sell C10 parts, but they live and breathe C10s and are very active in our community. Like I said, look for them at your next truck show. Nick might be there if they let him out, but usually Travis and his dad, Jack, and they want to talk to you and help you out with your C10 project. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and you can also check out their Facebook group called C10 Addiction. So check them out and let them know that I sent you. So you bought a C10, and you either had AC at one time or it wasn't even an option. Well, Vintage Air has the solution for you. Their SureFit kits are designed to place the evaporator and hoses behind the dash for a factory clean look. In most cases, the SureFit systems will be controlled by your stock dash controls using their exclusive cable converters. In some applications, a new factory look control panel is included with the kit. The SureFit systems provide full OEM style operations, including air conditioning, floor or vent heating, and a powerful defroster. To retain a true factory look, the AC Air exits through the factory dash louvers, if originally equipped in your truck. The Gen 4 kit provides infinite, just right temperature, air blending, and blower fan speed adjustments. The Vintage Air SureFit kits are the best value and the most completely engineered air conditioning system you can install in your C10. 
Add the fact that Vintage Air has been the most respected name in performance aftermarket climate control systems for 40 years. 40 years? Damn, son. The choice is obvious. VintageAir.com. Damn. Okay. IG, we're back. Uh, what are you guys thinking about all these shows? Uh, any any show that you're you're really liking? Uh, any show that you um, episode? What what episodes are you guys digging? Are you not digging? Hey, IG, uh, man, my my cricket wireless was it was kicking kicking. Okay, let's do crickets. What's up? Let's see if he wants to come in. He said he's in. That's the fun part about uh, IG. I can I can bring somebody in. Okay, let's see if I I, I I I'm I'm clicking, bringing him in, wrenching on the cart for a race tomorrow. Woo woo, Texas. Okay, I tried to bring you in. Uh, where's he at? Crockett's. I keep trying. I keep trying to bring you in. If if, if you guys want to bring come in, I'll bring you in, man. I uh, IG. Metalox, what's up, dude? I called you today, bro. Come on, man. Where's the love? I, uh, I did, uh, gosh, I don't even know what the hell I was saying. I, I was on IG. I was trying to bring everybody in. I tried to bring you guys in and get it back, back, back up to speed. So, uh, let's see. Tipsy McStagger, can you do some chassis suspension fab builds at your house? You know the best of the best. Come on, the guys build something uh, at Ronnie's house. Ooh, Tipsy. Um, uh, I'm, I've got pace and struck right now on chassis and then the blazer that uh, I just walked around That's a four-wheel drive blazer. That's probably gonna become a two-wheel drive blazer. So I got plenty of chassis stuff going on right now What's up from Texas? Uh, what up 75k5? Hope you're doing good, dude we Got some got some so uh, we got fat fender. What up, Jason? We got the Zuccardi jr. Arnie was on fire. So what do you guys think? Uh, is there a question or is there a uh, episode that you guys really like that you didn't like? Actually, tell me what you don't like. I mean, if, is there something, you know, uh, I'd love to do more tech. Uh, like Moffat was on earlier. I was like, dude, I'd love to uh, bring in. What up, Square Body Jesus? What uh, what tranny did you end up putting in that truck? I know you had that tranny problem when you went up north and you uh, you do run that truck pretty hard. I wonder what tranny. Did you end up putting a 4L80 in there? Or did you go manual uh, and go with... Uh, uh, a manual five speed. Let's see here. NV 4500, probably 93 1500 Silverado long bed six banger for the future build. A 93 1500 Silverado. I, I'm saying the motor doesn't matter, but from a long bed perspective, it, it kind of matters. But 93 is cool, dude. I, I think slamming an OBS on the ground will be rad. I second the wrenching on the cam. Tipsy, yeah, you guys want you want to, you want me to wrench on the cam? That's what they, they everybody wants me to wrench on the cam. Um, let's see, OBS trans feedback, feedback, five stars on the fast turn on my swag. That's mama, dude. That's well, yeah, you did bite some stuff. That's mama. OBS talk is great, loving it along with the C10 talk. Okay, this is fun. A little more work because I don't have another another guy bouncing stuff off of him. So I'm I'm bouncing. This is normal for me though. Ask Oro, he knows. Robbie knows too. Try to keep up. Shout out from West Texas. Mitchell Motorsports, Texas. What's up? What's up? Sundowner's back. What's up? What's up? Larry. <coughs> Suck it, Johnny. You son of a bitch. Best chassis paint. Wow. So, so um, YouTube on, um, that's a good question. And I'm just going to give you my two cents, Sick Monty. Sick Monty. Oh, man. I think the poor 15 is probably the best way to go. Some guys want a powder coat. So I'm having this debate with my son right now. He he wants to powder coat his frame. And I just don't feel like that's the best decision based upon a few things. When you powder coat a, a chassis, and you, you can kind of think back to what uh, Matador, Caesar, and I talked about. But if you're powder coating a frame, you have to pretty much mock everything up have everything drilled, have it set, built, and then break it down, take it to blast, take it to powder. It's a lot more work. Depending on what you're going to do with your build. If you've got a show build and you want something just second to none, go for it. You know, But if you've got a daily that you're not daily, but something you're just <coughs> running and gunning, 
I don't, I don't know, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. You can really make a nice, a nice chassis. 415 works good. Uh, there's, there's plenty of, you know, good chassis paints. Eastwood makes a killer paint too. Um, what up, Cagoose? My homeboy Cagoose is on uh, IG. Um, what? I know Ch uh, Chad used it. I'm trying to think what chassis um, paint you use. I know I just asked you that too. So, is the Blazer going LS or staying small block Chevy? The Blazer is going LS. The 77 is going to be a 5.3 because I have one out in the back 40. I've got a, a Yukon that was rolled. And uh, I've got a 120,000 mile 04 uh, LS. And uh, the plan is to put that motor in the 77 and lower it. Coilovers, 20s. Just I love the way the, the slice sits. And uh, that's 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 what my brain is thinking. The King, what's up, Mr. Ronnie? What up, the King? I wonder if that's the C10 King. I don't. I would think he would be the C10 King. So, Easy Lamour, Lamaru, Lamaror. I like that. However, I say that Lamaura, Lamaru. Uh, it's gonna be LS. Hi from Alberta. That's going out to Wingnut Fab. What's up? Checking in from Alberta. I love the F100 Nation Ronnie podcast. So I did a podcast with uh, Solomon and Devin, and they're trying to kind of bring back the F100 era nation, and I was a guest there. And I, I tried to throw that out to everybody, but uh, it's really just them asking me questions that I, I assume a lot of you guys know, but it was fun, and uh, it was uh, good to talk about some Ford stuff. People, people don't realize that I don't hate Fords. I just don't really like them, um, but I like old trucks and i like the dudes and i i want the ford people the dodge people the jeep people i want everybody to have what we have because i love it right so and honestly if if there's good pod and there's good um shows and there's good just rad builds and the scene and the com and the commodity com yeah however the hell you say that um the it, it's good for everybody so so i love that kind of stuff i really do so I'm glad uh, is more of an OBS guy. C10 King is an OBS guy. So or the o, the, the King is a is a 454 SS guy. Performance online. What's up? What's up? Builder shows are awesome, but the audio is kind of bad sometimes. Yeah, that's because I'm running everything on my phone because I don't know whether or not they have it or not. Uh, this audio will probably be great because it's just me and I'm talking right at this laptop. So I need to maybe mic them up. Or put this computer or tell them to talk loud like I talk, you know, I'm loud. Okay, so Square Body uh, Jesus, you did go NV4500. How hard was that to find? Because when I had my NV4500 um, with my diesel package, I, dude, I must have got 25 requests just for the NV4500, like nonstop. So people wanted the NV4500 uh, probably to mate up to whatever they were, you know, looking to mate it up. But it's it's probably the best cheapest bang for the buck tranny out there five speed at least especially you can handle the the, the torque so suck it ford <laughs> that's from av uh okay so j branch resto mod air what up resto mod what's up what's up so thanks for tuning in okay so let's see here what we got here we got uh anybody else shy town's back what up babe i have a 72 blazer an 81 silverado a 70 chevy step side and a 56 gmc truck all in the works damn that's a lot. I can barely handle what I got. I can't imagine handling more than that. Some guys can handle it, though. Time for a new one. I got. I need a new cold one. Anybody else drinking out there? Anybody? Uh, anybody got what's a what's a good uh, what's a good shot beer that you guys like? Trucks are cool, but the people are cooler. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Hey, Larry, if you're still tuned in, suck it, Johnny. I work with a guy named Johnny. And Larry knows he's he's a he's a good dude, but he's a pain in the ass. I don't have much room to talk. Okay, Fat Fender, can you mate a 4L60E or 4L65E to a Gen 1 350 with a ZZ4 block and upgraded billet crank? Can you mate a 4L65E to a Gen 1 350 with a ZZ4 block? Uh, it's a Chevrolet. So I feel like that you're you're setting me up on that, Jason. But I don't see why not because pretty much every tranny in Chevrolet does bolt up to the the any motor really. They're all the same. So that's that's what's kind of cool. 
uh, unless you have something different. So I think usually the flywheel depends and changes things up, but I think that that would work. So let's see if you've done that and maybe you know the answer. So Jason, hit me back. Let me know. Shop a mess if you want me live. Shop a mess if you want me live. That was from Square by Jesus. I have no idea. Ooh, Lone Star. Yeah, I'm drinking about eight beers into a Miller High Life. Uh, I like your Model C10 pickups in the background. Oh yeah, those are pretty cool. Those are my little, some of my little, my little, my little models here. He's saying, let me uh, let me try to turn that on there. Got a couple. You know, I need some squares. Hmm. This is the one I love right here because I actually have a 72 shorty uh, that before, you know, IG and pod, it's out there. It's in the, it's in the, it's in the back 40, uh, but I have a 1972 Cheyenne short bit, uh, not super, but it is a Cheyenne orange and white. I'm the second owner. I bought it from the original owner. She bought, obviously that's why I'm the second owner and uh, she bought it from Rudolph Chevrolet and it still has it on the tailgate. So I've got the protecto plate. I've got the original Arizona title. So I bought a 1972. I still have it. Little Cheyenne out there. And uh, that's why I love this guy. I love this guy. That's uh, man. I'd love to, if I had mucho, mucho money, I would build this and then put this and orange slice next to one another. So imagine orange slice. And uh, I call this truck, uh, my truck, uh, Bonita, because her name was Bonnie and it was Bonita. And it was a girl. She bought it. And uh, it was her name and her title. And so that's that's uh, that's my little 72 shorty. And that was my first C10. My first uh, 72 style was a K10. Um, and I sold that to a guy by the name of the professor's neighbor. And that Dave really helped me kind of get into all this stuff. Man, I'd love to have him on one time. He's a he's a wealth of knowledge. He just doesn't like talk that much, so he'd be tough. Um, but I do love him. That the color that my dad is doing on a '63, uh, an orange and white '63, or it must be uh, that fawn. Probably that fawn. Fawn is a beautiful color on these trucks. I love me some fawn. Fawn, 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 fawn. Anybody? Fawn. Chad knows I love fawn. Cagoose, if he's still on. Okay. So we're good on uh, the YouTubes. Let's see what's going on. What up, Brian? How are you, man? I have not seen you forever. I hope you're good. Brian Allen um, over in uh, the South Carolinas. And I uh, had a baby. I mean, I'd say just had a baby, but hell, it's probably been two years. I can't even remember how long ago. And uh, man, I love that truck. That uh, early, what is it, like a 61? And then you posted that up with that, that in the garage today. Beautiful. Shout out from uh, Yerington, Nevada. Performance online over here. What's up? What's up? Uh, let's see here. We got Metalox powder coat. Oh, Metalox piping up about the powder coat. I can't wait till those beautiful little girls, those meatballs. I'm going to freaking tell them to powder coat everything so uh, you can have the same haircut that I do. What up, Alex? How are you, El Chuco? Hope you're good. Cheers, brother. Hope you're staying safe. How's the COVID over in uh, El Chuco, by the way? Yeah, seriously, how is it? I mean, that's why I'm solo tonight. So if you didn't catch the first part, I'm solo because I had a COVID call and I don't want to get anybody sick. Hmm. No, the first one. The red one. All right. I like that too. That's beautiful. I like the orange in this truck because I'm an orange guy. I do like the 6456, the orange in this. Big back window. Big back window. Can't go wrong. Got a little... Step into my door. Cruising. Beautiful. Beautiful trucks. Yep. They get dusty up here in the shop. Mm. Oh, Rusty Ranch. How you doing, brother? I like any truck that's built, not bought. Okay, El Chuco, El Chuco, Poor 15. Yep. I need more podcasts. P more podcasts, dude. You're crazy. I'm putting out like, I feel like I'm putting out like six a, a month. Four, three to four C10s, plus some Builder Series, plus um, the OBS. If you want to listen to a fun one, you guys, listen to the C the OBS talk that I just did with Arnie. Arnie Gonzalez, Tricky Air, uh, he's a riot, dude. So listen to that one. That's on OBS talk, same format, same bat time, same bat channel as, as C10 talk. OBS talk. 
Yeah, you'll like that one. I promise. He's uh, he's fun. SEM is really good. SEM frame pain is a no-brainer. So uh, that's a good one. So easy, easy. That one's perfect. I think poor is good. Uh, SEM is good. Um, yeah, yeah. What's the high temp stuff? I'm trying to think. I'm drawing a blank. Is that SEM? I use that stuff. It's like yeah, roll bar and chassis. It's like nine bucks at AutoZone. I'm drawing a blank on that. Sorry to leave you, Mr. Ronnie, but I got a uh, big day ahead of me tomorrow. The King, late, dude. Thanks for checking in. Appreciate it, you guys. Anybody who's who's chiming in or just, you know, hanging out, thank you. Cheers. Salute. Salute to uh, health and happiness and Chevrolet trucks. Sorry, Ronnie, we're having a bad storm. Wi-Fi keeps going out. No problem. No problem, dude. That's uh, that's cool. Some guys, I, I I want somebody to jump in. So if you're over here on the uh, on the YouTube, let's get somebody to jump in. Where's uh, Metal Ox? Metal Ox, take your shirt off and let's uh, let's do a little split screen. See what's going on. Come on, I'll I'll bring somebody in. Dry cough, COVID ten. <laughs> COVID ten. I'll let you know. I'll come by the shop, Jason. That'd be uh, that'd be that'd be bad news. A C ten guy comes rolling through with the COVID. You guys will know if I have COVID because I'll be locked in this freaking shop and uh, for fourteen days or whatever the hell it is. If I get the COVID. You'll know. So I've got an antibody test on Wednesday. So I'll go to the uh, I'll go to uh, get tested on Wednesday, and we'll see what happens. So uh, hopefully not. But like I said, I didn't want to uh, just plasti dip it. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, Chuck C. What up, Doc? Dude, I did my yoga today. Oh my God. So uh, Chuck C. is always giving me a hard time because I'm I'm getting old and I, I just don't move the way I used to. I think I do. My brain loves it, but my body doesn't. And uh, so he had me doing some yoga this morning. And I'll tell you what, dude, I did it. I loved it. I felt great. I love it. It feels good on my back and it feels good in my hips. So uh, I'll be doing it again tomorrow. I'm going to get up, have a cup of coffee, and do my 10 to 20 minutes of yoga. Uh, it's the only way I'm going to survive this world is if I don't uh, start stretching because I'm, I'm tight. My hips, my back, I'm tight. Too tight. Rusty Ranch, what up, what up? Coming in, dude. I love it when I see the guys on both. It's pretty cool. George D. Lawrence, Chuck C. Corn Dog. What up, my brother? How you doing, man? Corn Dog. Do I look like that guy or what? Tell me I don't look like that guy. What did you say his name was? It was uh Jason or something case. It was it was Cade. It was two first names. Two first names, first and last, but the stunt guy. So I'm telling you, I look like that guy. I need to get that guy's autograph. Uh fixing to start new 63 sub. With a big block. That's pretty cool. Or no, yeah. Orange Slice rocks. Thank you so much. Wes chiming in. Nothing wrong with a badass F100. Eh, a little bit. There's nothing wrong with a badass F100. There's really not. But certain guys, we got to make sure that we let them know that the C10s are better. That's all. But it's a fun tease. Yeah, that's true. Jason's good about it, man. Jason, sometimes I think Jason from uh, Fat Fun or Jason Noel, he was uh, he should have been a fireman because he he does uh, give good ribbings and uh, it's a, it's a good it's good. If you can't, you know, if you can't you get real thin skin, that's that's not fun. So YouTube, you guys died out. So let's uh, let's see what you got. Get caught up over here. However you say that, yeah. However the hell you say that, Com camaraderie. Is that how you say it? You know what I'm talking about. What are some of the companies you know offhand that have the best fitting interior pieces, plastics, trims, and such for squares? I get asked that all the time. So, okay, I'm partial to Brothers. Obviously, I'm sponsored by Brothers. I'm partial to Brothers. You're more than welcome to check out the other companies, and the other companies are Cheyenne Truck Parts and USA One uh, Industries. I think, yeah, USA One Industries and, and LMC. Check them all out. Um, a lot of them, it depends on where they get their parts. You know what I mean? I want the best stuff too. I really do. So it is tough to, to get some of these different parts. I honestly, uh, try to get as much OG, uh, NOS, um, OE stuff. That's what I try to do. I try to buy as much as that as I can. And, and, and if I have to do a SEM and do a, a, an interior paint match, something like that, I'll do that. That's what I did on orange slice. Uh, actually that's what I did on Yellowstone too. I, I, Try to buy as much uh, NOS stuff as I can. So, did okay. It's checking in. 4L80 or Turbo 400. 
and a gear vendor. Wow, that is a great question. Mitchell Motorsports, you're coming in for the third shirt of the day. Mitchell Motor Sports. Mitchell Motorsports, send me an email, Ronnie at Seaton Talk, or a DM, and I'll get you a shirt or a hat or whatever the hell I have out on this table that I'm giving away. Um, so I think the 480. But you have to have the, the module. So it really depends. And what I, the problem that I have is is then you go to, well, do I want the 454? Do I want a big block, whatever it is? And do I want to go with like a, a throttle body? Do I want to go with a, a Holly, like a sniper, a Terminator? The Terminator has the module. If you want to stay with carburation, just buy the module, then go with the, four, the 480. Otherwise, you want to go all mechanical, go with the gear vendor. It's tough. That's like the that's like the the circle of the the the, the thing that keeps going the training world round and round. Do I want to go 4L80 to get that overdrive or do I want to want to go to that gear vendor? Uh, I went 4L80 with a gear vendor. Friend found one on offer up, so that's back to uh, NV4500. All right, come on, sick money, let's go, let's go, let's go, bring it in. I'll bring you in. You just gotta have some questions. Mm mm mm. Okay, so on um. YouTube for the IG guys, Rusty Ranch is saying mains truck parts, M-A-N-E-S, mains truck parts. I'm writing that one down, mains, I'm putting an asterisk by it too, mains truck parts. Is that online, Rusty Ranch? I've got a half a dozen guys here that I buy used parts from, and uh, I met one new last night. So Adam, Tom, I love Tom forever. I love Tom. And then I got the from Jeff and uh, I try to reach out to them and then you got offer up and everything else. Let's do a monster turbo 700 <laughs> tipsies. I like tipsy. That's why he says his name's tipsy. Okay. So let's go down. Let's go up here. Bourbon. Ooh. Uh, White claws. Nice. What up, Scott? What do you think about Arnie Talk, Scotty? Did you? Uh, that's my bigger little brother. I love this man. Uh, did you listen to Arnie Talk yet, dude? He is a hoot, man. You got to listen to that. 805s, ooh, 805s are good. So uh, we're talking beer now, guys. Crown Royal and Root Beer, really? Crown Royal and Root Beer. I've never had that. I'll try that. Uh, natural the Natty Light at work, sipping on Rockstar. What do you do, OBS Trends? What do you do for a living? Uh, for the OBS guys, follow OBS Trends. He's working hard. OBS Trends, what do you do for a living? I like the Backyard Builder episodes. Any plans for on the future? I don't mind doing those. I like to do those at the shows. I like to do those because I can look at their truck. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't. If you've got one, I don't mind. Uh, it's We're lucky. We've got a lot of big-time builders uh, forearms looking yoke, dude. These forearms for the audience. These forearms were a gift from my dad. That's the only thing I can think. People always make fun of me when I was a kid. I just always had big forearms. So Popeye. That's just how it always was. I don't know why, but that's how it always was. Skinny kid, big forearms. That's just how it was, Scotty. I gotta have some to freaking compete with your freaking ass. You knock me out. I I say one word to GSI Scott, and you'll freaking knock me out, dude. Um, meant to say that the shop is a is a mass if you wanted to put me on live. Sorry, I'm really <laughs> dyslexic. I will definitely put you on live. I love that dude, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about your NV4500. Orange Slice Jr. Yes, the 4065 will work on a small block Chevy 350. New flywheel and standard uh, TCM setup. So, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, really, that's that's kind of the whole thing is if you, the, the GM, they makes things so universal. So you're training, pretty much any tranny will fit to any motor. I mean, in line six, you could put a freaking turbo 350 behind it. It's just the flywheel. Cartoons Magazine, Cartoons Love C10s. Cartoons Magazines, what's up, what's up? Hey, cool. Um, I have uh, George Trosley coming out Tuesday. If you don't know who George Trosley is, if you look at any street trucks, Oh, let me see. It doesn't take me much to reach over and grab a street trucks. Street trucks. Let's see what we got Georgie on. There you go. C10 right there. He's got a, it looks like about a 67, 68. So this is George Trosley. What up, Boosted? Mwah. Aaron is on. So this is George Trosley. George Trosley uh, was on the pod. He will be uh, my guest um, for Tuesday's episode. So tune in Tuesday. Tune in Tuesday, and you'll hear George Trosley. 
He's 72 or 73 years old. He's been drawn since, dude, since he was like eight years old. He has a lot of good stories and uh, a lot of fun. George Trosley. Check him out. I just hate coming home to an empty apartment. Guy is, guy's a genius. So there you go. Cartoon Magazine, what's up, what's up? Boosted, what's up? C10 Sales, Cougar. How you doing, brother? Add me to the live feed if you would like. I'm in the garage and can show my stuff. All right, so I don't see it saying that. You're going to have to go all the way. I'm hitting Blythe on my way to Mesa. For what, Cougar? You going over to Low Boys or something? Let's uh, let's hook up tomorrow. I know if you're in town, then that means you're going to go hang out with Johnny. So uh, give, me a, give me a what's up. Okay, so Rusty Ranch, yes, specialized in 67 to 72. He was asking about Square, by the way, Rusty Ranch. But um, for Maine's Truck Parts, M-A-N-E-S, Maine's Truck Parts, Rusty Ranch is saying 67 to 72. So a little bit of the like that, but we got it going on. Okay, so Cougar, I'm gonna we're gonna find out if you're gonna um, we're gonna hook up tomorrow. I'm off this weekend. Hey, brother, dropping in for the first time. Prairie Speed, welcome. SEM is the best. VHT is high tech. That's what it is. VHT. VHT. That's what I use. I use VHT a lot. It's at uh, AutoZone. I can get it for about nine bucks a can. Prep everything. VHT. Roll bar and chassis. Installed LS is the stock rear end good enough? Yes, the stock rear end is good enough depending on the what ratio you got, but it's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Your tranny's going to eat up. Your tranny's going to do most of the work, not your rear end. Jim Burden, you're back, my brother. What's up, man? Thanks for your service, Ronnie. Thank you. Boosted. Mwah. I love me some boosted. Okay, let's see here. I love you. I love you too, Alex. Corndog. Yep, his name is John Cade. Okay, first, I'm behind, man. This this Instagram is tough. Um, John Cade was the guy. So he is, uh, I need to get an autograph picture of this guy. Look at this friggin' face. This is this is what John Cade looks like. And he, he's got a helmet on, and, he's, and he looks just like this. So uh, I might have an extra autograph photo of the one you sent. I'll have to check. That would be cool. Best interior parts are OG. That's speaking from the OG himself, Sammy Castronova. Sammy Sells should be sitting right here, but we're not getting the COVID going, so that's good. Okay, so quick change rear end, and it doesn't matter. Ha, ha, ha. Bring me in. Let's bounce off each other. I don't see uh, LS or new LT swap. Dude, I'm going to do an LS, and I was talking to somebody the other day. Uh, just because LS is just a way to go on, at least on the next build that I'm doing, because the LT, some you know, they're still working through some of that stuff. I mean, they're getting it all figured out, but I don't. I think the LS is just so proven. So for me and the budget, that's the way to go. And I, and I think too, a lot of guys that are you know interacting here, you're going to do LS as well. So you know, to to push and let you know about some of the different components. Obviously, PSI is going to be our our wiring conversion. So they do both as well, but LS and L. LT based for a lot of what Jason's doing. He's doing these high, high builds, you know, $100,000 builds. I see you doing a lot of LT stuff. What up, C10 Lifestyle, Cricket, Crown Apple, and Sprite? Cra uh, apple Crown. I think he said he meant Crown Apple. So, Apple Crown, I get what you're saying, uh, Crockett's. That tastes just like a Jolly Rancher. So, if you like a Jolly Rancher, an Apple Jolly Rancher, you go with uh, Crown Apple with a little bit of Sprite or 7 Up. I prefer 7 Up. Drink more craft beer. I'm a hop farmer. OBS, I work at a nuclear weapons facility. Ugh. You're like Homer Simpson, dude. What the hell? Nuclear weapons facility. That's pretty crazy. The Blazer designer, that was one of my favorites. Yes, that was a good one. The Blazer guy would be um, Paul Hitch, Mr. Paul Hitch. R.I.P. Paul Hitch. The old guys are the awesome. You know, having those old dudes is, is a lot of fun. Hey, brother, I ordered some stickers about five days ago. Any idea when they might be there? They will be there soon. We, uh, My wife shipped out orders today. So she's doing about uh, every few days. So she uh, went to the post office today, and they will be – I bet you'll have them on Tuesday. Thanks thanks for ordering stickers. Okay, I'm going to fly through some of these because I think some guys are saying they want to come in. Check your request. I've been trying. Okay, uh, Uriel, um, doo -doo -doo, I'm just blowing through some of these running. Your podcast made me buy a 71. You're gay from Anthony at Oakmont. Anthony Oakmont likes to come in and say stupid shit all the time. So whatever. Uh, why don't you chime in? Hey, Anthony Oakmont, chime in. I'll bring you in. You can tell me I'm gay. I'll bring you in. Uh, 
any reputable dudes in the let's go cancel any reputable dudes in the da, 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 do work do 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 crown apple and sour bang okay paul hitch was a, was the man great interview thank you so much so let me go all the way back up here and see if i can get somebody to come in live on uh on the uh the ig i don't see it we're telling your viewers that you're live so that's a back at the beginning beginning so i don't have anything that says that you guys are coming in i see some waves but i don't have anything that says you want to join okay so i blew through those so let's do this let's go back out and uh, I'm going to start it over, okay, because it's going to kick me off anyway. So I will trade parts for a shirt. What parts do you need? Hey, guys. One of the biggest upgrades I was able to make on Orange Slice is my lighting. Think about this. You've got your old school sealed yellow lights. You put in new United Pacific headlights. Boom. Quadruple the lightage. They look better. They perform better. And guess what? They're safer. So you've got LED options. You've got new headlight options. They look great. And honestly, we upgrade so many things with our trucks. Why not upgrade the lighting? When you do, think United Pacific. Here's the best part. You get to save 15% off all C10 products by using code C10TALK15. Save 15% off all C10 products by using code C10TALK15. Go to upcarparts.com. That's right, upcarparts.com. I don't think you'll forget it. Save today. Thanks, guys. Give them a follow on social media too, Facebook and Instagram. I've got Kathy White, Classic Performance Products, CPP on the line. Kathy, how's it going? Hey, Ronnie, what's up? What's up? What's new? We've got a ton of things for the C10 community. First things first, our two and a half inch Extreme XN drop spindle. So we've upgraded the current modular spindle to modern technology. This new XN spindle is a one-piece forged, but it utilizes strong, modern, bolted, internally sealed bearing hub assembly. So it's low maintenance. It doesn't move the wheels out. And you can use big brakes from us or any aftermarket big brakes out there in the market. That's awesome. What else is new? So we have actually gone back and redesigned our aluminum fuel tanks. As you know, our fuel tanks are the thickest, strongest, and largest capacity in the industry. But now you can actually use the same tank for either a carbureted or a fuel injection application. 63 to 72, it's 20 gallons. And for 73 and newer, 22 gallon capacity. How about that coilover kit? You guys must be killing it with that thing. That is such a great kit. It's fully bolt-on. It's easy to install. Strongest tubular arms in the market, available with either upper and lower or just the lowers or just a coilover kit by themselves. All the mounting brackets that you need, and it also comes with dual adjustable coilover shocks. So it's really responsive. It's up to you however you want to tune the compression or the rebound. It's perfect if you're just cruising on the streets and it's proven on the track. Well, that's what we like. So if you need spindles, the new X10 fuel tanks, coilovers, they've got it, classic performance products, CPP, and don't forget, use code C10TALK, C10TALK at checkout and save 10%. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you, Ronnie. Hey, YD62, what up? What up? What's going on? I brought you in live. How you doing? Good. How about you? Good. Where you at? Uh, Alberta. Oh, how you doing? How's things up there? Pretty good, man. Cool. Finally, some nicer weather. Yeah. It's on a buddy 63 right now. All right, cool. Let's see it. Uh, let me figure out how to switch the screen here. Ooh, stepper. So, uh, YouTuber, we got uh, we got YD. He's working on uh, uh, 63. Stepper. It looks like it's going to have some pretty big hoops. Uh, 20s at least. Uh, 18. Uh, 275, 4018s. Cool. On a square uh, setup. Yeah, that's so cool. Now, that looks like it's been repainted probably uh, at least once, that truck. Uh, repainted once for sure. Yeah. Just did the uh, full QA1 setup, sway bars, front rear. Oh, it looks good, man. That thing's going to ride great. You're going to love the height, too. What what power yeah. plant? Uh, right now, he's running a 350 basic with uh, TH350. We have a uh, GM Crate Motors 383 and a 700R4 to go in it. Perfect. Yeah. What, what does he think about that? Um, 
you know, running a three to three with a lower with a lower torque, you know, it's a really I, I should say it's a, a high torque motor with a seven hundred R four. Is that what you said he's running? That's what we will be running right now. Yeah. Uh, it's in the works at my shop right now. I have to do full uh, pulley setup, do the top end on it. Uh, it needs intake carb. We're going to run uh, probably a Holly setup on that one. My my question is the 700. It seems like guys always tell me that they, they just don't handle the torque all that well. Uh, that I'm not sure. We're going to bring it to a tranny shop to put a full build into it. So it's not just going to be a stock yeah. 700 or 4. So for YouTube, I've never if, had a 700 R4 with more than 400 horse, so I don't really know. Yeah, what are you thinking you're going to get out of that motor? Uh, the way it sits, it should be sitting around uh, 380 with what we plan on doing to it around 450. Okay. So. So 380 horse, 450 torque, or? I think its spec is 380 horse and 410 torque. Cool. Yeah. So. That's what's crazy about those 383s, man. A lot of torque. So, all right, brother. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for ti- chiming in. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, stay safe up in Canada. Will do, man. Okay, bro. Take care, man. Okay, guys. That's cool. I told I tell you I'll bring you in, man. If you uh if if you want to come in, I'll bring you in for sure. Uh, square body's back in. Square body Jesus. Uh, dude, how do I keep my wife happy after buying a yard of C10s? Uh, I don't know, man. You got to marry the right girl. Ronnie, where can I find a GMC? Where can I find a build lo- location on my 73 GMC? It will be so GMC Square Body S Q uh, B O D Y. It's in the VIN. So if you're looking to see what what plant, it's in the VIN. It's probably just do a VIN decoder online and it'll tell you what uh what planet was built so many trucks i don't even hardly know i've really only had a, a fremont and a st louis trucks i mean it, it seems like so many of them have come from there but uh gmc square body shoot me an email if you struggle with it and i'll it's just a decoder just uh google it so uh 73 gmc shouldn't be a problem at all uh it's on your vin where your truck was built Okay, anything from Rusty Ranch? Yes, I bought a 2006 for the 5.3. Kind of feel dirty. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to go, dude. I have a 64, 67, 71, 77, 79, 80. Yes, I have a problem. No, that just makes you normal, dude. That's why we that's why we tune into one another and we like this stuff because so many of us are uh, we're just we're, we're whether we're hoarders or collectors. Yeah, collect you're collecting gold bars. Okay. So, sick money and square body Jesus. I'm looking for you, man. See if we want to uh, get you to join in. Who sprayed the insulation on your roof? Uh, forget his name. And his name's Ricky. He's here in Phoenix. Ricky here in Phoenix. Okay, so I just got like six of these guys. So let's go here and let's go. Bam. Sick money. Here we go. See if he comes in. Come on. I pushed it. I pushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What's up, brother? What's happening? Let me go out in the garage. I was doing dishes. All right, that's all right. You're a good man. All right, so YouTube, we got Sick Money on uh, IG. That's the fun thing about going IG and going live is we can uh, we can chime in with one another. So, uh, what are you working on? Well, this is my the Monte Carlo, hence the name. Yeah. Yeah. What year is that? It's '88. Is that the last year of a Monte? This is the last year of the full frame Monte Carlo. Right yeah, here. yeah, yeah. You my, know, uh, my Big Ten and my OBS are at the shop. Okay. So. Wow what that. what is the paint on that Monte Carlo? It's like a a real rich flat black. You want to make you want to know what this is? Honest to God, this is UPOL UPOL. They make Raptor liner. This is just their satin black spray paint. Oh wow! It laid really nice on there. This was uh, 14 cans of paint. <laughs> I could see it on the roof line a little bit, you know, with the light, but it, but it, it really laid down on the side really nice. Hey, it's not bad. It's uh, 14 years old, this paint, too. Dude, even so, better. I'm not, I race it all the time, so I'm not like a paint guy because I get chips all the time. So. What, what, uh, what power plant? Looks like a small block? Small block with a sniper EFI. And I got the Ride Tech triple adjustable coilovers and hey, all the good stuff. Hey, so why'd you go with Sniper versus uh, um, 
Uh, what's the other one? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, yeah, Fitech. Just because so many guys ask me about Fitech and I don't hear all of the best stuff about Fitech. So I just wondered what you thought. Well, honest to God, a lot of the guys that I race with use Fitex. Oh, okay, and, good. And everyone that used it put their Holly carburetor back on. Well, I'm not, not lying. Well, then, 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 have they switched to uh, a Holly sniper, or do they just stay with their carburetion? They just stayed with their carburetor because they just didn't like the way it tuned itself, I guess. But I've had no issues whatsoever with this sniper. Um, I've read a lot that it's the way you install it, with the way they crimp everything, with the wires and all that jazz. So I soldered everything together. So super clean install, and it fired up, and it's fantastic. Cool. I mean, it, it runs like a champ. It really does. What fuel system are you running? What uh, what pump are you running? It's the um, it's the whole kit from Holly. It's, oh. the, it's the Sniper EFI tank with the in with the in tank uh, pump. Yep. All the lines and all the front, you know, everything everything's at the front, and then I'm using their HEI distributor, and it you know and it's the uh, you know the throttle body there. Well, it's beautiful. I, I love the way you have. Obviously, your HEI looks good. The way you did all the black. Uh, not only is it probably you know a beast. It, it looks really nice. What kind of uh, horsepower are you running out of that car? Uh, about four fifty. Wow. Yeah, I like what Nate's saying. Uh, Nate Werner's saying, uh, "Fire it up." Can you fire it up? Oh no, no, I can't do it now. <laughs> the kids, the ki kids are in bed or what? Kids are in bed. Oh, even even better, dude. I let love it. My, let me get my keys. I'll show you the dash. All right, my cool. Keys. Let's check it out. Go get your keys. So for YouTube, uh, he's gonna he's got a 88 Monte Carlo, and uh, he don't want to fire it up. Small block. It's a beast. You can tell. He's gonna go get his keys, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna at least get to see the dash. So uh, we'll uh, we'll check it out. Here, you know what I can do? Let me try this a little screen on screen action here. Oh, gee. Yeah, you're on YouTube too now, so we're 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 doing screen on screen here. This is like this is like this is like '80s uh, picture and picture picture and picture. I've got a YouTube channel here. No, no, this is cool. This oh yeah, okay, we could check it out. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna start it up, but I'll show you my dash. I think you should start it up, bro. I got. I can't do that. There's no way. <laughs> I got the Holly EFI dash. That's pretty badass. Oh yeah, that is a cool setup. I've seen that. That's pretty rad. Yeah. Believe me, I know. I know the feeling. I got I my battery. That's all right, dude. That's all good. Yeah, that's cool. That those those uh those dashes are sweet. Those are sweet. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty sweet uh pretty sweet setup you got there. I appreciate it. Yeah, I love this thing. And what and what tranny are you running? T fifty six. Okay, yeah, no brainer. There you go. Now, have you had to have that T fifty six rebuilt? Oh yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I bought it for a thousand bucks. It's an LT one T fifty six. It's not a Magnum. It's from an old Camaro. So I bought it, and of course I took it apart, and it needed like everything. You know what I mean? So the guy I bought it from was like, "Oh, it's it'll bolt right in, no problem." Yeah, right. You know how that goes. So I had it rebuilt for a lot of money, but it has all the new, you know, go fast parts in it. Yeah, Fat Fender's saying we need to skip the uh, the the uh, uh, Fitex. So he um, Fat Fender's telling you to grow some and start it up, but uh, I'm not going to put that kind of peer pressure on you. There we go. So we got the Holly uh, lighting up now. So he's got. If you guys don't know on YouTube that Holly setup, it's pretty sweet. It's kind of like about yay big, and it's in your dash, and kind of gives you the whole setup here. Here you go. Let's check it out. Well, you can go and do all the different stuff on it. It's got like ten different gauges you can do. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Custom, I love this thing. Hey, are you uh, are you in Texas? Where are you at? I'm in Maryland. Oh yeah, you did say that. Okay, cool. Oh shit, what time is it there? Ten o'clock. Uh yeah, about that. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna chime you out here, and I'm gonna grab a couple other guys for coming in. Thanks for uh, having the. Thanks for. I wish you would have started. You didn't have the balls to do that, but you had the balls to come in live. So I'll give you that one. All right, buddy. All right, take care, man. See you, dude. Cool, dude. Awesome. You got to love it, dude.
That's a sweet car. That's a, that'd be a fun car. So he's got a square and he's got an OBS. So let me see if I can bring in. Uh, I know Fatbender was chiming in, uh, and I know Square Body Jesus was. So let me see if I can go back up here and uh, figure out where they were to bring them in. Uh, what headers are you guys using for putting a big block in my? Ugh. Dude, a big block you can go all all day long on big block headers. That's what what'll fit. I've tried freaking ten different kinds. Did I just see digital C10s turned in? What's up, buddy? Um, all right, try to come back in, Jason. Let's uh, let's let's. To be honest, okay, they're temperamental. We've done eight of them. Two work properly. Oh, when battery mounting in the trunk, ground cable needs to go all the way up to the power wire. That's a clean ground. Start it, grow it up. Fat fender, duh. corn dog. Okay, cancel. Let's see. Uh, I'm converting. Uh, nice. I'm converting my 66 charger over to Holly Sniper Stealth and putting a 4L60 in it from Silver Sport Trunk. That is going to be nice. That's going to be smooth. All right, Cole Cart. What up, Cole Cart? Hey, so yeah, Cole Cart's got the Freedom Cruise. What a cool deal. Um, so on, uh, Memorial day, May 25th, um, uh, he's kind of just, he's got a post and, uh, I'll share that post. I still have it. I just haven't shared it yet, but he's got, uh, and I need to announce that on the, uh, pod. So freedom, freedom cruise, but, uh, essentially just go out and cruise on Memorial day and then tag everybody. Make sure you tag freedom cruise. But if you want to get some of the more, you know, specific details, get on a uh, coal cart, Cole, common spelling, cart, common spelling, D10, D's nuts, 10, and uh, that's our buddy Jeremy, but he's kind of putting a little rally on Freedom Cruise, so that's going to be uh, Memorial Day. God bless USA Memorial Day. All right, anyone from Florida, OBS sales, South Florida? I want to put dual tanks on my 77 C10. I want to put my battery under the truck. Where can I mount it without removing a tank? Oh, man. Because the saddle tanks, your um, your saddle tanks are tough, so you're gonna have to put your battery all the way really in the back. So you're gonna probably have to put it behind the rear uh, tire and that rear fender. There's a little compartment there. You could even cut your bed and open it up if you wanted to. Okay, let's see here. We have somebody sent a video request, so somebody's coming in. Let me see if I can get fat fender. Okay. We'll see. Um, that's what I would do if you want to put your battery somewhere else, because obviously with the squares, there's not a lot of spots for those uh, for those batteries. You got it, uh, Jeremy. I will. Um, let's do this again. Let's get uh, Fat Fender. Add. Let's see. Fat Fender is unable to join. Okay, so Fat Fender said you're out. That might have been an old one. Again, um, May 25th Memorial Day Freedom Cruise. Okay. How are we doing on time? Ah, we're doing good. Let me try to bring somebody else in. Corn dog, you are a pimp. Hey, speaking of corn dog, if you guys get a chance, check out the Kibby and Friends podcast. If you like old Duke stuff, uh, that's corn dog. Corn dog uh, helps with that. He's the go-to on uh, all that stuff, especially when it comes to Duke stuff. He acts like he doesn't know Star Wars, but he actually does. He he won the uh, he won the Rob Robert Kibby. Uh, whatever the free award was for, for Star Wars trivia. But Foolish Media in the house. Foolish Media was uh, Kevin Aguilar and uh, is Kevin Aguilar. And he was uh, my guest on uh, C10 Talk. So if you get a chance, I just did uh, the last Builder Series dropped, which is Jason from uh, Berlin from uh, AZ High Test. But then before that was Foolish. And then you'll hear George Trosley this Tuesday. And uh, I'll probably put this one out as well, just out there. And then uh, on OBS, you've got uh, what do you got? You got the builders one with Travis, and then you got Arnie Talk. So let's see if anybody else wants to come in live. Thanks for this. I listen all the time. By the way, work paramedic up here in Canada. Cool, dude. Gasaholic. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Uh, thanks for being a paramedic. How's the COVID up there? Are you guys running a lot of calls or not? Corn dog. Okay, let's see if we can get somebody. Somebody else wants to join in. I think Uriel wants to join in. I keep hitting viewers. I keep hitting uh, Fat Fender. I'm going to try Fat Fender one more time. Bam. If you don't work this time, okay, it says he's unable. So I'm going to try. Let's see who else can come in. Shampy. I see Shampton was on there. 
Da, 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 da. When battery mounting in the trunk, ground cable needs. Okay, yeah, that's right. Fabrications. Hey, uh, to be honest, da, da, da. hey, right. Uh, I gotta send you a shirt because you keep chiming on all the time, right? Fab, send me an email. Ronnie SC Tintock or DM me. I've got ten different shirts up here. I don't. I'm not guaranteeing the size though. I'll tell you that, guys. I'll tell you that right now. That was fun. Thanks for having me, Sick Monty. Thanks for chiming in and thanks for showing us off your rad car. Let's talk about what other pod you guys like. You like uh, all the other pods that uh, you – what's your favorite pod? Everybody likes the Paul Hitch one, RIP. Those old ones are fun. I think George Trosley is going to be fun. It's uh, The guy's 70-some years old. He's still dry, drawing, uh, doing cartooning. He's funny as hell. So anything like that, it's good stuff. Let's see. I'm going to try one more time if I can bring Shampton in or Uriel. I'm going to go with Uriel. Let me see if I can go back up here. If not, I'm going to tune out and then go in one more time and bring in one more live guy. Okay. All right, IG, I'm going to I'm gonna go out and I'm going to bring another guy in live. So, and somebody's coming in live. Whether you like it or not, delete. I'm not keeping it. Delete. IG doesn't want to keep it anymore. Scroll out. Bam, bam. Let's go see what Bell Tech Matt's doing. Boom. Let's get out of that. Let's go here. Uh, I need to ask Johnny if Cougar's coming into town. Let's go here. Let's go here. Try to keep up. Boom. Live. All right. Cool. All right. We got 12 viewers on uh, on the YouTube. Any questions on the YouTube? Nope. Damn it. I freaking hit the wrong one. I freaking took it out. Live. Live. 125. No. Mm. Rusty Ranch, take care, bro. Thanks for chiming in and uh, checking everything out. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Okay, guys, we are live on IG. Telling your favorites, uh, you're telling your followers. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on, YouTube? We've been at uh, uh, 137 on the YouTubes. All right, Uriel, here you go, bro. Boom, let's bring it. I'm gonna bring oh Mitchell 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 was calling me out earlier, but I gotta get uh I gotta get Ariel in there, man. At uh, Mitchell, stay here. I'm gonna get you in. I'm gonna get you in. Oh, dude. Hey. What's up? What's up? How you been, man? Yeah. What's up? What man? what are you up to? Well, I just got back trying to get that uh dually started, but it's a no go. No, so, no, nah, man. So it, it's something with the fuel system, but does it have two t you know, two tanks? Yeah, it does. does we it? put we put uh we put gas in the left tank, and that's what we've been trying, but it's a no go. And I even tried a little separate tank, but so let me tell you, let me tell you two things: the right tank on a square body is always the primary tank, not the left tank. And if you th okay. and if you think about it, if it didn't have a second tank um, from the factory, the if it, let's just say it this way, if you had a tank from the factory, it was always on the passenger side. I know that's that's weird for us nowadays. Yeah. So that's going to be your primary tank. The second thing is, if it's a dually, it's probably a big block, so it should have a return. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you want to check it out and make sure that the carburetor, what I've done, is. Put fuel in a tank and in a fuel jug. If you have a little pump, that works great. But it's a carbureted setup. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is you take a fuel jug, five, uh, two gallons. Yeah. Put your fuel. Put some fuel line down in there. Run it up to your carburetor, and then you'll know that the carburetor, the timing, and and all that's good. Then yeah. Could then work your way backward. Is it the fuel pump, or is it? Well, the, the thing is, we, we replaced the fuel pump because we put fuel onto the carburetor and it starts and it stays on for a little bit and then it just dies. So, well, why is it dying though? I, I, uh, I don't know, but I mean, it's been sitting for a while. So, uh, maybe the carburetor's messed up or. Yeah, you might need to. I took off the, the trout, you know, and it looks like it's leaking, but. You know, I'm just going to tow it to my house because I have it. It's it's at the guy's house, and I don't want to keep working at his house. 
So yeah. I'm going to bring it in my house and just fiddle with it here. Yeah. But well, if, get, get that carburetor. Just go through and clean up that carburetor. But you should be able to – if you if you run starting fluid or pour a little gas in there, does it – it still runs? Uh, it, it does. It does come on. But then after a while, it just dies. Well, and and uh, it, like he was saying, like Gasaholic saying, it might be a vacuum issue. It could be a timing issue. Oh, okay. I don't know if your timing yeah. is off a little bit. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm fairly new with like carburetor stuff. You know, I know it's not, a pain. I haven't really messed it's, with it. It's a pain. It's, I mean, like, <laughs> look, my first C10, I I automatically put an LS. I haven't started it, but you know. That's what I'm going with, but I want that to like be a hauler, you know. And, yeah. And it's the crew cab, so I can get my family in there. Well, take your so tanks out, take your carburetor out, re- re- rebuild your carburetor. Oh yeah, you're coming in. That's nice. Ooh, what motor's in that? Yeah. So it's a it's a LS. It's a four point eight. Nothing too big, but yeah, you know, just so I can cruise it. Okay, cool. Love I like it. that. And then is that original? My, is that original sea foam? Uh, no, no. This is actually a spray can from uh, uh, Walmart. We got a lot of spray can tonight. I brought in like two or three guys, and then and then it's a spray can episode. He's uh, showing us his truck. It's the the feed is kind of tough right now on uh, for the uh, YouTubers. Uh, the feet, we're losing the feet. Uriel, I'm losing your feet. I'm going to let you go. Uh, Later, bro. Pay that cricket bill, man. All right, cool. Hey, where's, uh, who else wanted to come in? Somebody else wanted to come in. Let me see if I can bring them in. Um, two rattle cans. (laughs) The two guys coming in. Uh, that's funny shit, man. I gotta, I gotta tell you, uh, Guys like guys like Sam and, and 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 you know I do, but I'm not the I'm not the end all on this. <laughs> that was a COVID sneeze if I ever had one. You know, you're all these guys are looking for OG paint, not one little thing. And and uh, two guys on tonight both have uh, rattle cans, so that's funny shit, man. Um, square body collector, what's up? What's up, Darren? How you doing, Darren? You doing good? Thank you for the gifts, Darren. By the way. OBS Trends comes back. Um, I'm going to try to get somebody else in. That Mitchell Motorsports wanted to get in. I don't know how to get him in. Mitchell Motorsports, Texas. I'm trying to bring you in, but uh, I don't see where it's telling me. Okay, so let me go back here and uh, let's see. See if I can get somebody else come in. Nate Werner. Good, good, good. You waved. I waved. C10 Flipper. Fuel filter at carb inlet. That is a good point. It could just be that fuel filter. Uriel, if you're still on, in the front of the carb, there's a, a filter that gets plugged. You can just take it out and see if that'll help you uh, help you run. So uh, good point. I've done that a few times. Just get rid of that damn filter. It's a cheap, cheap part. Right on the top. You get, the only thing is you got to have a Cressor wrench or like a, a big-ass one-inch wrench to get it out of there. But if you get that fuel filter out of there, it'll be good. So uh U P O L, so U P O L, you pull satin black. Uriel, uh, pull that fuel filter. Next time you do this, we should do shop tours. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in on that. Sounds like uh, Gasaholic's ready to go. Yeah, come in live and give us a shop tour, Gasaholic. What a good amount of setup aside. So, GMC Texas, I, if you're taking off, peace, brother. Uh, what a good amount to set aside for a full frame LS truck build bagged ac all the fun stuff want to get my ducks in line for when the shutdown ends urban legend that's a loaded question his question is what's a good amount to set aside for a full frame ls truck build bagged ac all the fun stuff 50 minimum 50 minimum you're gonna have 15,000 in the chassis you're gonna have 15,000 in your motor if you even i don't care man you buy a freaking two three you buy a 500 hundred dollar motor but you're going to spend, you can easily spend six grand, depending. Now, are you doing it all yourself? Paint body, 15000 You can blow through interior, wheels, tires, at least 50 grand. But I don't know. I don't know what kind of, I don't kind of, what kind of cabbage, what kind of scratch you got. But um, it's easy. That's what's funny about these trucks is it's not hard to get into even six figures. These guys get into six figures. It's and You're like, how the hell do they get in six figures? What's the truck worth? It's worth 50 grand. What do you mean it's worth 50 grand? I just spent 100 grand. Uh, you're paying for the labor. Yeah. You're paying for the labor. All right. 
Mitchell Speedworks, Long Bed Larry. Hey, Long Bed Larry, um, I was thinking about you today. We found a Long Bed shirt. It's a medium, medium, but I still am going to try to find you that XL. Today, I'm going to get in there. Let me find Long Bed Larry XL t-shirt. Long Bed Larry. My wife and I were just talking about this t-shirt because I think I still have one XL, and I told you that LST, um, but I did find a brand new medium. So long, keep long beds long. Okay, so Mitchell Motor Works, so you, you wave back, but I need to see if I can get you to come in. So took out the hard line from the carb and nothing pumped from it. Okay, Uriel's back. I took off the hard line from the carb and nothing pumped from it. So you're saying that to me that means the fuel pump is not pumping the fuel, bro. So whether or not you got your new fuel pump hooked up right, what you can do is put a fuel filter before the fuel pump, right before it goes from a soft line to a hard line. Check it that way. But what I was saying is if you put a two-gallon fuel tank with the fuel line down in it and then you go right into the carb up into the uh, to the inlet of the carb, you'll know right away. Get that filter out of there and go get a new one and uh, and you'll know right away because it's, it's going to freaking – you're going to have fuel in there. So try it that way. Took off the hard line. Okay, I'll go live if you want. Super Street C10. Okay, let's see who wants to go live. Here's Mitchell again. I told Mitchell I'd, I'd bring him in. I would, but I'm working the Ambo. All right, Gasaholic works the Ambo. Where do you work the germ box at? What up, what up, Mitchell? What's up? What's what, up? Man? What? What's up? <laughs> Where, uh, you're in Texas. Where at in Texas? Big Spring, man. Big Spring. Well, what, what? What? I don't know where Big Spring. What's close to Big Spring? Odessa. Oh, so you're West Texas. Oh, yeah, I'm West Texas. F flat. Oh, no, we live on the side of a hill, bro. Uh, you be flat for a long ways, and you see this hill off in the distance, and that's where we're at. That's, you're up in the hills. No, just one hill. Just one hill. <laughs> just one hill. So, uh, did you, uh, did you, uh, did you grow up out there? No, no, man. I'm, I'm from Louisiana. Yeah, I could kind of tell that. You sound like you might be from Louisiana. Man, I'm the West Texas Kunas. Yeah, yeah. How'd you end up in West Texas? You work uh, oil? Oil, man. Oil. Mm. Straight up. What do you do for oil? Uh, run fishing tools. Okay. Run fishing tools out here. But everything's slowed down right now, so plenty of time. If you got some money to put aside, man, plenty of time to work on your junk. Is it slowed down because the price is slowed down? Uh, Demand. Uh, Demand, I should say. The, the the war that the Saudis and the Russians had, it kind of it all together. And man, I'm gonna tell you, people that don't have nothing to do at all, enjoy enjoy the gas prices right now, man. Enjoy it, enjoy it, because I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna come back. Everybody's shutting their production down right now. It's gonna be way down, and then whenever all this is over, the demand is gonna be back. The planes will start flying, the ships will start moving, you know, and. Uh, you know, the, the, the demand's going to go up, and all these wells are shut in right now. So they're not going to be able to just come right back on, and, the, you know, the plants are going to kick up production with the stored oil they have. But once that starts falling off, people are going to be rushing to the market, and uh, price will jump back up. Price will jump back up. It always does. You know, this is this is pretty you know, precedent for what went on. But What's fuel over there? Because I'll tell you right, in Arizona, it has not dipped hardly at all. Like I paid two fifty nine for diesel the other day, and and I have not seen it under two uh, for fuel for regular like style unleaded at all. Where I hear some guys are like paying ninety five cents. Yeah, yeah. There's there's places around. Uh, I think logistically, the further you are away from refinery, the more it costs. But we're not that far. I mean, we're we're usually. I mean, I feel like we usually pay two thirty. 230 to 280 a gallon, but it, bottom line is in, in the PHX and AZ, it hasn't dropped much. Yeah, well, here it's dollar and a half, dollar and a half. Uh, I've seen it up around Lubbock at a dollar thirty. So yeah, you know, it's not it's not that bad. But no, man, I tell you, uh, first things first. I've been listening to you for a long time, and I've binged. And uh, I ain't gonna type in the five stars. I'm just gonna give you five stars. All right, bro. five stars. On both ends, dude. Thank you. And OBS. I'm a one owner, 454 SS owner. Uh, I've had it since I came back from Kuwait in 1990. What year? 90, bro. Okay. 90, the big bad boy. So it's so it's black. <laughs> oh, it's black. Bro. All right. 
There ain't but one color for a 454 that says black. Well, I like <laughs> the red. Hold up. Hold up. Go, go ahead. I'm saying that, but I've had a 92 white, so I can't. I had a white blue interior, and I was stupid enough to get rid of it, man. A white with blue interior? Yes. I was stupid enough to get rid of it, man. Hey, I'm not going to tell you're stupid, but you were stupid. <laughs> yeah, straight up. <laughs> no, I got, a, I got a little truck I picked up the other day. Uh, my boy's 14, and I promised him I was going to give him that SS, and he's coming to the age where he can start drag racing. And uh, it, the truck used to have a little blower on it and some nitrous, and I kind of calmed it down for him. So I'm starting me another bill. I, uh, I, pu- I purchased a 63 from a friend of mine, short bed, uh, short wide, and I haven't checked the VIN, but it does have a 283 in it, three-speed Saginaw, small back one, a 12-volt truck. Uh, so you're going to you're gonna give him the OBS? I'm, yeah, the OBS is his, dude. I've done, you know, I've had it since it was new. I'm going to give it to him, and I'm passing it on from me to him, you know, and, uh, he loves that truck, you know. He goes, he washes it three times a week, and and I'm gonna tell you something, bro. It's dark, dirty out here, bro. But I ain't afraid to crank my junk up. No. Oh. <laughs> and then, uh, and then I got a, I got a little, uh, I got a little turbocharged desk in. I just windowed the block last weekend at the races, so it's it's down. I can't crank it up. There's the turbos for them, you know. What motors in? What motors in your S10? Uh, S10 is 395 inches, based off a D-stroke 400, uh, with a long rod. And it's got S480 turbo uh, set of Broad XAs. It's uh, it's it's high five second, uh, low six second and eight mile. Are it's, you uh, are you uh, is it a square body S10 or is it? Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold up, hold up, bro. All right, hold let's up. go. Let me, flip, let me flip this around, bro. Let me show you some of this. This I'm just sitting in my little shed outside. All right. Hold up. I right, see. There's, I, the, there's the SS, bro. Straight up. I like those wheels. Yeah, that's some uh, centerline GT qualifiers they call them. Those are OG. Uh, it's OG. Yep, yep. Straight up, man. Two ninety five, sixty five drag radio. And then here's my little S ten. Oh yeah. The square body. It's got Sonoma grill, but it's uh, it's sitting on uh, two seventy five B lock. You know, two seventy five B lock, man. You know, just. Just kind of. He's a racer. Those square, those little square body S10s. What do those, thi- what do those things weigh? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, it's about uh twenty. It's twenty six twenty five without me in it, dude. <laughs> so, so give or take two hundred and thirty five pounds. Uh, no, try three hundred and sixty, bro. I'm a big boy. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> You better start. You better start doing yoga with me in the morning. No, I'm ready, bro. Let's stretch. All right. <laughs> but, but no, man, dude, I got uh, I got all kind of thoughts on things. But I know you short with time. You want to pass this on to everybody else, dude. No, that's I cool. Show you another... Go ahead. No, no, dude, I'm loving it. Give us a shop tour. All right. Well, this it's just shed tour, man. My shop's across town. Okay. I just want another passion I got, dude. Oh, about models. We drag race models, bro. Look at this. I know people talk about it. It's slot car stuff. Little C ten K five blazer. Oh, that's beautiful. Just want to show y'all that. There you go. A lot look, of people talk about modeling, man. We modeling. Look at that uh, cow induction on that thing. That thing's got a blower. Damn. <laughs> yeah, man. You wouldn't believe it, but these little things right here, they run about 45, 50 mile an hour and 25 foot. So what do you, are they, are they like a wind up or what, what's their motor? No, they work off of a, they work off of a, a little small electric motor. Is that, is that like a Tesla or what? No, no. Remember, <laughs> remember they had the, they had the uh, 164 scale Tyco racetracks, like you, the little finger. Yep. You know, the little finger uh, yeah. grip? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. We use the same kind of controllers and everything, and and uh, we get together and have bracket races, have heads-up stuff, and yeah. How good How good did we have it, man? Oh, that, we had it. That little slide on there, yeah. making that contact, you try to figure out what was, take your car off and freaking clean that shit up, and freaking clean yeah, the track up. 
lot of fluid, bro. A lot of fluid. Oh, yeah, a lot of fluid. Yep. Take a little lot of fluid, put on the track, and wipe it off. Yep, we still use them. Oh, I'm going. Water fluid. That's cool. Uh, they got a track right here in Phoenix, man. Really? A friend of mine named Chris Adams. He, uh, he spent some time in Louisiana. He's from Phoenix. He, uh, he does pretty good for himself up there. So will you stay in Texas, or will you, do you go back to Louisiana a lot? Oh, no, I live here. I move, bro. No, no, I know, but what, do you go back to visit? Oh, yeah, we go back to visit. Oh, yeah. All right. So when uh, when you when you think you're going to be back to work, you think later this fall when uh, when people start flying, people start driving? Oh, yeah. We, well, they're, they're forecasting probably early 2021, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, it's going to trickle in from here, there. You know, I'm going to have to find my little, you know, catch-up work and stuff here and there, but uh, do some contract work. But so are I don't you think it's going to are you furloughed right now or are you, uh, how oh, does yeah. that work? Oh yeah, I'm furloughed. So I'm, I'm taking, you know, I'm pinching pennies, but I'm trying to keep my little, uh, momentum going, you know. Do you get unemployment? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. We put enough in, so, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad we getting it. Yeah, for sure. Well, enjoy the time off. Thanks for tuning in and it was nice to meet you, dude. You too, man. Hey, and, uh. I know you talked about shirts and whatnot. You know, we need one of them four XL fat boy shirts. <laughs> I think I, I think I, I think I, if I have a four X, I'll see if I got one for you. All right, man. Hey, look, thanks a bunch, man. I'll have you later. Okay, I'm gonna ride down, Mitchell. Later, dude. All right, bro. All right, Mitchell. All right. Hey, I want to get over to YouTube real quick. So Joan, Jonas, love day. Love the channel from, heard from you from watching United by Trucks. Nice job on the orange slice, by the way. Awesome truck, man. Keep up the content. Boom. Sweet. Okay. Let's get caught up when we, uh, when we go in live like that. Uh, let's see here. I'm in Canada. Da, da, da. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff chiming in. I'm going to go one more time. I'm going to clear out. Uh, yeah, he was good. I like, um, Hey, Choice, I send, I'm sending uh, somebody up to you soon. Uh, if you know who Rob Beasley is, Jason. Jason at Choice Transmission, if you're in the Valley, uh, Rob Beasley said he's got some training issues he's going to work through, so I'm hoping to get him up to you. Urban Legend, hoping to get it running and driving for the 50K that you go back and make me make it pretty. Okay, let's see. I'm going to see if I can bring one more. Oh, damn. Friggin' Yanni Yeet. Let's see. Ah. All right, let's see. Come on. Let's see what we got. What's up from the middle of the ocean? We'll take care of him. I know you will, Jason. Um, Jonas. Oh! What up, man? What up, man? You're looking good. <laughs> What's going on, man? People can't pay for this much goodness right there. Look at that boy. Uh, you think I need a haircut or what do you think? I think you look good, dude. Yeah. When do you not look good? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at this. I got Bell Tech. Yeah. Yee, yee, yee. What up, man? Dude, we had a shop tour earlier. You were in it. <laughs> Johnny G, the, pr the protector. Somebody, somebody thought it was for real. <laughs> oh, dude, they're like, damn, well, who's that guy? <laughs> what are you up to? No, I'm just hanging out. Hey, is Cougar coming to hang out tomorrow or what? Yeah, he's, I just talked to him a little while ago. He said he was in Blythe. Yeah, is he going over to Lobo or what's he doing? Yeah, um, yeah, My Michael's. Michael's oh, Michael Truck Works? Yeah, same, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, let me know because uh, Bowman stopped by and he's running over to Sam's tomorrow. And uh, I got to get Limbo up to the to the spot. Oh, okay, cool. So I thought I was going to go up there today, but I'll uh, I'll tune in. Um, I got to plug everything in now. My, my, my laptop's saying it's low. My phone's saying it's low. So I'm going to plug in real quick. But but uh, I'll hit you up tomorrow and uh, and we can uh, we can if, if he wants to go grab some food or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everything's. Hey, should I, hey, hey, should I give him a sneak peek? Should I give him a sneak peek? Oh, dude, the fire starter. Uh, oh, uh, hey, what uh, is what what does John want a seventy five grill for? For this? I didn't think that was seventy five. That was a seventy three. No, that's seventy five. You got Cheetos? Them? Cheetos? No. No, I don't. It's it's, it's, it's there, but it's a little. I got a guy. I got a guy. I'll, I'll find. I'll see if I can find him one. I got a guy. Okay, cool. Okay. Cheetos, talk to you tomorrow. All right, bro. Later, Later. bro. See you guys. Okay, who else wanted uh, one guy? Limbo, 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 question mark. <laughs> What's up, Stickle? Uh, I thought that was real. I hope Cougar gets a flat. Whoa, somebody don't like Cougar. Damn. 
Okay, Johnny G. So uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, bitchin blue seventy two. Uh, Jen, man, what up, Jen? Hey, so a public service announcement and recorded in front of a live audience, Jen, man. I think it's August eighth up in Olympia, Washington. If you're up in the Pacific Northwest and you want to go attend a show, uh, August eighth, I think is uh, C tens on the Capitol in Olympia, Washington. Okay, let's see, Urban Legend. Where's the Where's the guys where we can bring them in? The truck element from Colorado. What's up? What's up? Trying to bring them in. I thought that was real. Du -du -du. What's up? What's up? Um, you the man. Love the podcast. Thank you, brother. Thanks for tuning in. I don't see where I'm able to bring these guys in again, man. They don't make this easy. I want to bring all these guys in. Who else was next? I think Shampton, but that was old. GMC Square, buddy. I was trying. I was trying to bring you in. You're on the germ box tonight. You never, hey, germ box, you didn't answer me where you're, where are you working? Where are you working in the uh, Ambo? What up, Rhino? How you been, man? How's the convict? Okay, had some problems. Float pins, $15 fix. Flipper, Urban Legend, I'm working on full build. Acme Chasme, LS9, T56, Magnum, Willwood, etc. North of 50K on parts. Boom. Yeah, he's he's he knows what he's doing. So you got a full chassis, you're looking at 15k. Depending on if you want to go OG paint, your paint's good. If you got to paint the truck, you're looking at 15 to 20 to 25 to 40 thousand, depending on paint. SEMA build style stuff. Um, but yeah, any I would say if you're gonna really budget a, a true build, you're looking at 50. Doesn't take long to get to 50. Not long at all. Scott W. Dillon from Billings, Montana. That's my peeps right there, bro. I don't know if you knew that, but that's where I grew up. I grew up in Laurel, L-A-U-R-E-L, M-O-N-T-A-N-A, -A, brother, M-O-N-T-A-N-A. -A. Big Sky, I love you. I'll stop my singing career right now. All right. <coughs> More COVID cough. Trying to see if I can bring, okay, I'm going to bring in, I tried Fat Fender, I'm going to try GMC Square Body. Let's see. Come on. Let's see what we got. He's coming in, 47. Yeah, YouTube dot dude, what's up? Hey, how you going? Where are you at? Uh Melbourne, Australia. Oh shit. I was like, it's bright there. Yeah, man. Yeah, the sun's out, it's blaring good. So uh As you can see. when we did this last week with Jason, fifty eight fifty nine, um it was yeah. about it was about noon. So is it about noon there now? Yeah, we're looking at about one o'clock, one one PM. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Um, I've, I want to hit you up because I'm after a, a dash badge. Can I can I show you? And see if we can um, see if we can chase one up. Yep. All right, let me change it around. Okay, we got a square body. Yes, I have, sir. Um, <coughs> the, the, the custom, I believe it's a custom GMC. So I'm wondering if anyone can come across one and um, head one over to Australia for me. Uh, we can find you one. Send me an email. I don't know. I think it's Ronnie, R-O-N-N-I-E, at C10 Talk. Yep. And I'll find you one. R-O-N-N-I-E, at C10 Talk. I feel like the custom – so Sam had um, Artie, and I – was Artie a GMC? Because that kind of has a little cowboy hat. It says custom and has a cowboy hat. Um, but a lot of times the GMCs are going to be Sierra or Sierra Classics. Do you do you uh, do you remember or was it never there? No, it was never there when I bought the car off um, a guy by the name of John Tina. What he's, what he's been over there. What year is it? Uh, Seventy three. Seventy three. Okay. Seventy three GMC. Is it green? Yes, it looks like it's green. Yeah, it's the lime green with the, the white over top. Yeah, that's a beautiful truck, man. Yeah, I'm glad I came across it uh, from a guy by the name of John Keener in, uh, in here in uh, Melbourne. Yeah, uh, man. So uh, is it a long bed or short bed? No, short bed, step size. Wow. So that's that, uh, that's that, that pea green. That's, that's a beautiful truck. Now, what do you uh, – yeah, that's uh, – I like that. A lot of patina. That's the same yeah, as uh, Sam was running uh, Chili Pepper. So well, if you what, let me look at the Fender real quick and look at that emblem and see what it says. 
Because it'll say right away. Yeah, see, Chad just said that. So, oh, it does say custom. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to yeah. be it's gonna be a custom. And then I think the GMC might have a little cowboy hat. Does it have it on the side there, or what did, What was in the orange? Uh, on the dash? Yeah, it looked like you still had part of it. You just were missing the custom part. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's just got the GMC. But it should, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, and then you can even look it up online, but we'll find you one. Uh, I'll find you one here in the States, and I'll get it to you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. I just mark everything up about 50 bucks. That's it. Yeah, that's fine. No, yeah, no, I'm messing good. with you. I'm going to find you one. $3 now, mate. You'll, be, uh, you'll be laughing. I'm going to, I'm going to find you one and you're going to get it for exactly what I find it for you for. I'm not, that's, I'm just messing with you. Um, so we'll find, we'll find you one. Okay. Much appreciated. Thank give you. us a, give us a quick walk around of that truck. It looks really nice. Um, yeah, so basically it's just an LS, an LS1 in it. Uh, let me uh, let me change it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it just um, drops spindles in it, so it's static. Oh, man, you got to keep that white bumper. That's so perfect. Yeah, I polished it up the other night. It's come up really well. Yeah, your your grill is, is on point. Let me uh, switch over so the YouTubers can see that. Man, keep that white bumper. What's that? Yeah, I will do it. What stance are you yeah. running? Sorry, sir? Are you in like a 4.6 drop? Um, I think it is, yeah. Um, it's, I know it's two and a half um, drops from CC, uh, CBP. So okay. I believe, yeah. How about the interior, stock? Yes, it is. Yeah, bench seat. Man. Um, Looks like it was recovered at some point. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a original, but um, yeah, I think um, it, it was found. Yeah, Dakota. Oh yeah, it looks great. How's your dash? Is it you got you got some cracking or no? Um, no, I've um, always made sure I looked after it. Um, don't over tighten it, and um, yeah, basically door trims are still original. Yeah, no speaker holes cut. Beautiful. No, no. I love the um, I love the white roof too. Sorry, sir. I love the white roof. It looks it looks beautiful. Yeah. Like, I mean, it used to be white. The character's there. Yeah. Got a little um, square by syndicate. Um, I have my um Detroit uh, Detroit Delrays sitting on the side here. What size are your Delrays? Uh, twenties. Oh my uh, gosh. Sitting on twenties. Look at that. So he's got Del Rey's and that, that tailgate is beautiful. He's got the GMC. I love the GMC tailgate, the way that that pops with the white, especially on the on the uh, step side. Kind of Sam had that on uh, um, Palo. He has the step side smaller that Jason Bowman had, Big Ten Bowman. What's the name on that truck, brother? I haven't got one as yet. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um, a, a lot of people here in Australia, when they see it, they – they call it Mater, you know. Yeah. Like with the color and the um, the patina on it. So it's a so, it, yeah. it's a cool it's a cool truck, and uh, we'll check out your Instagram, and and uh, you probably have some cool pictures up on that. I have, sir. Thank you very much. Much appreciate. Love the show. You got and, it. Uh, love the podcast, mate. You got it, brother. I'll uh, I'll get looking for you on that badge. We'll find it and we'll get it over to you. Okay. I'm also hoping that we uh, travel. Um, restrictions lift here because i want to get over to dino's get down so 10 year I'm baby well yeah. i hope i hope you do because i hope the we get to meet you guys we had some real good fun with the aussies last year vegemite and fosters and all kinds of crazy stuff going on <laughs> it's a unique taste okay brother uh, you gotta love it okay take care man Cheers, thank see you, you brother bye-bye gmc square body sq uh sqrb ODY. I think I think he's got the, all the BODY in there. So uh, back to 15, 16 guys over on the YouTubes. I'm plugged in, and uh, yeah, sick truck, GMC Square Body SQ BODY. That is a beautiful truck uh, for a stepper for sure. Okay, trade uh, trade the emblem for some Vegemite. You don't want no Vegemite. That shit's horrible. Coleman, what's up, brother? Goose, goose, goose is loose. Uh, thanks for all the you do, Ronnie. Best podcast, Truck Element. Thank you. Fat Fender's back. 
I tried like 64 times to bring his ass in. Let's see here if I can bring him in again. I tried, I tried, I tried. Um, okay. All right, anything else? Okay, let's see. I'm going to try one more time. And Fat Fender. Let's see. Bam. It says waiting. Connecting. Whoa! Look at that. Pimp. You like that? What's up, brother? Oh, my phone. My phone dropped. That surprised you, right? No, that's what happens when you bring a Ford guy into a C10 podcast. The freaking phone likes my phone wouldn't even have it. Oh, how's it going? Good man. I thought I'd put on a C10 talk hat for you. That's good. Hey, uh, that that the first, time, the first time I met you, you gave me a hat and a shirt. That's it. That well, I've been up to the shop. I thought I'd brought you some other swag too. Yeah, but the very first time I met you, I remember at SEMA. Seema, yeah. I remember. Here. I can't sell the stuff where you take some. Who's the... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to convert you, dude. Who? Uh, who's your buddy that, that I've met a few times with you? Uh, like, what do you mean, when? He was with you when we met the first time. Oh, oh that's a brother-in-law. Oh. He yeah, reminds he me is. of... Um, he reminds me of um, not Ron Hoon, but uh, is it Corey from Channel Ten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pepper hair and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so how's the shop? I, I saw the Bronco top was all painted. Yeah, Bronco top's painted. We've got uh, about almost thirty projects going right now. Oh my God! Oh, it's it's crazy. We three phone calls today. I probably get about three builds a week right now. So we have to kind of be a little selective right now. How can you How can you keep up? Uh, we say no to stuff, or we push them out. Like we probably have maybe eight to twelve months worth of work on the books right now. So what was with the chassis? Was that those were Ford chassis? Those were F one hundred style chassis because they they looked real industrial with the the way that you guys have the uh, inner um, I guess the inner frame stiffeners kind of sectioned in. Yeah, yeah, it's more design more than anything. I mean, you know, you got a few. If you have one or two cross members, that's probably good enough. Yeah, the rest of that stuff is probably you know it's just really designed. But yeah, they were they're nineteen fifty six four chassis. We actually got three of them in there. One one's kind of a just a little bit lower than stock, and then a bagged one, and then one that's just right in the middle. And so, um, but yeah, so we've got I think three C tens going on right now. So they're all that 60, I can't get away from the 60 to 66. I know, every time I see you build one. I know, so what, I, I you, build one and you had Tony's, right? And then you had, that yeah. was a cover truck, SEMA award winning. And then you had yeah. EMT's, which was. We got, yeah, and we're actually going to probably take that down next month and have uh, Johnny Oro shoot that. And so we'll have that and then we'll try to get that into a good magazine. And then we've got. Um, another C10, it's a six, it's a 65 belongs to the guy that owns all the black rock coffee shops here in the Valley. Oh, a, a guy owns them all. Yeah. And so yeah. he, uh, so we're building one for him. Uh, we got another one for a baseball player. We're building, it's a 60, I think it's a 65, 66. How many have you had to figure it out? Because I mean, we give him a hard time. He's definitely a Ford guy, but are, uh, how are you split up? Are you, is there any Dodges or just mostly Fords and Chevys? Fords and Chevys, we do have, I mean, we've had Studebakers in there. Uh, we actually have a, a Chrysler Jeep Renegade in there, four-door thing, and we're going to put a Hemi in it. The guy wants a Hemi motor. Cool. So a few little oddball things that sometimes I like to do. One, it's not too hard. It's not a full build. How about the and, guy with the 1930s or 20-some tw car? What was that car? I remember coming to the shop and seeing it, and then I saw your video with the old guy. Yeah, 1924 Dodge Brothers, and he bought it when he was 16. Oh, you're right. It was that. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's uh, he, almost 89 right now. That was a so cool video. A, yeah, it was pretty cool. We we did we did the video a little bit ago, and then it, it you know mostly for them, so they'd have you know a record of it, and so we threw threw it up on YouTube, and they had like four million views. It was pretty crazy. When, when well, that's that's what you were saying. You were saying <laughs> like the YouTube was just like your YouTube's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's been doing well. And then uh, that I like uh, Davy Brooks has a, his brother in law's truck, uh, the paint on that crew cab. Yeah, that crew cab. It's done. We're just waiting for him to come pick it up. Yeah. What, what, what motor's in that? 
you know, we, I thought in the beginning when he dropped it off, we put like a, you know, a diesel or something like that in there. They had a, a big Ford 460 big block. Yeah. And he's like, no, let's just put a coyote in it. And I was like, are you sure? Like, it feels like this is way too much truck yeah. for the coyote. I, I believe in I I think I'm a diehard EFI guy. Like, I don't care if you're a big block Chevy Ford. It's just, it's hard to beat technology. And the little small blocks, you know, you know, a six liter, five liter, whatever it is, they just outperform. And so we took the big block out, and I've got some diehard, you know, Ford guys in the shop, and they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, what a mistake taking the big block, all the torque and all the stuff. Uh, that truck rips. For, really? For what it is. Yeah, it rips. And so um, I think he's going to use it for parades, maybe for their company market. Yeah. Right off. Whatever. The problem with the diesel for something like that is it, it I mean, I love the diesel. I would have thought for sure a twelve valve, twenty four, maybe even a seven three, is they're loud and they stink. And if you're using it for that and you want to throw a coyote in it, it makes sense. And it, it gets up and goes. I mean, you're you'll push that thing and you're seven thousand RPMs. You know, you got that thing moving. Yeah. So it, it's it's cool. It's pretty cool. It, it's like all things, you know, the full builds are cool, but sometimes you're like uh, an easy one. So we had one come in the other day. And it was a 2005 Ford Ranger with a 2019 Raptor e- EcoBoost in it. Wow. We thought that would be easy. That actually kicked our trash. But Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you think about the new Rangers? Uh, I think they're pro- I'm losing you. I lost what you're saying. Like the look. I don't like the look. Yeah. Am I back? No, you're back. The stance. Uh, uh, like a the guy at work just really bought a two by four, and the freaking stance. I was. It's pretty. I was. It's pretty stout. He's. He doesn't even yeah. need a four by. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of weird. Like, I, there's things I like about Ford, but mostly just like the F two fifty platform. Truck. Yeah. Yeah, I like the platform of that diesel truck. You get into the EcoBoost and those other things, and I, I kind of get a little bit. You know, like eh, one way or the other. When do you think you're gonna uh, the OBS stuff's gonna kick in for you, like a lightning? Has anybody hit you up? Are you thinking about anything like that, like a like a '90s lightning? You know, honestly, I, I'm, we've had two shop trucks, and they're both OBSs. And man, one thing I learned quickly is those motors stink. Is that the Triton by like a four three Triton? Uh, I think it's like the four four eight, whatever that was. Yeah. The, Maybe it was a 4.3. I don't know what it was. I just remember it was like Triton V8 on there. Yeah, but they're just terrible. They're just terrible. So, um, but honestly, we're, you know, for us, um, I don't know. We're we're getting into all of them. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to get in, you don't need to get into into any, you don't need to get into anything else. You can barely handle what you got. I I, I know, but I, I get uneasy. Like, I like to come up with new products and stuff. So we try, we try really hard to like find little, niche markets, holes, things that are missing. Uh, maybe it's made in China and it's junk and we'd like to have it better. So we've got... Uh, like a C10 uh, um, light cab light, bezel, uh, billet bezel? Yeah, so we pretty much got dome lights for all the C10 square bodies. Yeah. Uh, a good quality LED light. Uh, we don't market it as hard as we should. We're going to try to get better at that. Um, I'll tell you what I need. The reason, the reason why today, today only, it, well, not today only. I, it happened in Yellowstone. It happened in Orange Slice. Um, I had Dom cut my seat, D bomb. I took a little out of Orange Slice, and my wife helped me, and she kept the door cracked a little bit. It left the light on, and for four hours the light was on, and so I went and touched my light in Orange Slice. And it, oh my god it, i'm like i was so mad because it it starts to um discolor the the um you know plastic. just the cover plastic yeah. so that's where the you know like an led is i mean i'm yeah. such an old school like i like the even the yellow but yeah. well, that's where it's nice to have that led because it's like you yeah. leave that damn thing on yeah and you won't drain your battery so quickly so yeah i mean there's trade-offs i mean if you're looking at original stuff then original stuff is cool and i i like all that stuff there's just something about it, and there's things I don't like to, you know, touch. Um, but when it comes to something a little bit nicer, better, the little plastic chrome garbage. Oh yeah, it's like you know, like, yeah. I'm just like I'm on, you know. And so yeah. um, it's a little tricky because sometimes they've you know grounded them or powered them a little bit differently than what you would traditionally think. And so then you're trying to take a piece of metal and tie it all in. So we have to think about it a little bit differently on how we're gonna, you know 
make it work. But, uh, you know, so far we figured out we've had a few where, you know, the little soldering things have kind of touched the aluminum just a little bit. We've had to swap a couple out, but most of the, most of them have been pretty good. Cool. All right, you guys, check out Fat Fender, Jason Knoll. He's uh, he's a mover and shaker. They've got, you know, all the time, 15-plus amazing builds. And like I said, I think you kind of went off, but we're talking like six-figure style builds. So Fat Fender Garage, check them out on Instagram, and uh, their YouTube uh, channel kicks But If you really want to see a cool video, check it out with that guy, the old guy. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, man. Thanks, man. You guys have, have a good one. Have a good weekend, bro. Late. Take care. Bye. All right, guys, uh, let me just roll through a few more last questions, and uh, I'm going to take it out. So we've been about two and a half hours, a warm LED. What up, Jose? A warm LED so it stays the same color. I like that. I'm not an LED techno, techno guy, but I like that. So um, thanks for coming in, Jason. They look hideous. Uh, my busy up here in Montana has a fat fender build. It's a nice truck. Oh, my buddy. Okay, cool. Um, love your work. Silver Fox. So yeah, we're uh, we're good here. So I'm gonna take it out. Uh, any last questions, real quick, before you guys? I'm gonna take it out. We've been about two and a half hours. Thank you, Cheyenne, for holding the camera. Sorry if the shop tour sucks with the YouTube. I probably should take the time to look into that a little bit. For all the guys that came in on YouTube and the questions and everything, thanks for that. For the uh, Instagram, all the guys that that uh, came in and split screen with me, that's always fun. Obl. Uh, Thanks, Scott. See you, bro. Have a good weekend, man. OBS LS swap question five, three, or six. So it doesn't really matter, dude. You're winning either way. And uh, I haven't done an OBS LS swap, but it sounds like they just drop right in. So I'd say you're really good either way. Whatever you can get your hands on, 6.0 is plenty of horsepower, and so is a 5.3. Plenty of, plenty of horsepower. Um, I know for some reason we just always want more. We always want more. I, I'm the same way. I was just talking to a buddy of mine on a blazer. He's looking at like a 6.2. And I'm like, dude, it, it, you're a win-win. Think about this. The stock trucks came with like 190 to 235 horsepower. And you're throwing in just a stock, you know, 5.3 is like 3.3, well, 3.15. And then you have like the 3.40 and you go up from there. So you're still, and you can put a ton of power to them. So thanks, Scott. Thanks, your old gasaholic. When are you coming back to Canada? Uh, not anytime soon with what's going on. I'll tell you that right now. Um, is the 6.0 worth the extra money? Th these are all loaded questions. If you don't need the 6.0 and you just got a short bed, you got a short bed, um, OBS, a 5.3 is going to knock your socks off, dude. Jason, Choice Transmission AZ. Thanks, brother. Long bed, Larry. Thank you. Thanks for stop Shop Tour, Ronnie. You got it, Mosif. And... We're taking it out. It's been fun, Ronnie. Thank you. Uh, have a great weekend. Need more K10, K20 on the pot. Dude, I love K10s and K20s. I do, I do, I do. I love them. My first truck was a K10. You, I've got a K20 out there that I can't wait to build someday. Uh, 72 uh, rust and white two-tone. So it's the kind of the cinnamony, rusty white and two-tone. I, I will never sell that build. So uh, your preference on interior guys, West Coast to use. Oh, dude, Metal Madness, if you got the money, uh, honey, then go see um, Fat Lucky. But you're a year out, and uh, he's West Coast. So if, you got, if you're a Cali guy and you can go see Fat Lucky, hit him, on, hit him up on IG. Uh, I was just telling Sam the other day, Fat Lucky did Sam's seat on Palo. And if I could ever have anybody do a full interior on me, with for me, it would be it would be Fat Lucky. It, dude kills it, man. So, all right, guys, uh, I think that's it. Wyatt, what's up? What, how you been, man? Have a good day. Hope the baby's good. Hope work's good. Hope everything's good. Wyatt Irwin, I haven't talked to him in a while. Looking for a reasonable interior place and wanting to put Ford King Ranch saddle interior in 85 Silverado without the laughs. It's not about the laughs, dude. The King Ranch is the way to go. Get uh, on Relicate Leather Shift uh, Shifts UX. Relicate Leather has that high-end leather. It's just really, really pricey. So just know that. That's where you're going to get the laughs. I don't think the King Ranch is bad, dude. Who wouldn't like King Ranch? Dude, King Ranch. You sit in a King Ranch. It's awesome. The problem, though, for the, for the times I have been in a King Ranch and the guys I know have had a King Ranch... Just realize you're going to really have to take care of that leather. That's a lot of work. That's some high, that's some thick leather. Some guys like their leather thick. Some of the guys like their ladies thick. But damn. Uh, seen Yellowstone at Barrett. Loved it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out. Peace, guys. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Listen to your mom. Eat your broccoli. Do your push-ups. Don't do drugs. YouTube. Late. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And uh, 
hopefully uh let's see delete the video boom we're deleting that's out we're out peace guys have a good weekend stay safe please rate and review the podcast